Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dim YouTube show. Intellectual. Yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. And now. Broadcasting live. We will broadcast live. Live. This is Extra Class. Streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. Hey, let's go. You know, it's Teach Dim, the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. channel. Good night, everyone. Let me know if you're seeing me clearly. Let me know if you're hearing me clearly. Um, some strange things are happening around here, so I'm gonna know what I'm going on. But more upon I see me clearly, more upon I hear me clearly. If you're seeing and hearing me clearly, welcome to another episode of Extra Class, episode number 393. I trust that everybody who is in the end of my voice and see my face, you, your family, your friends, your loved ones, you are doing well. For the people who are still up on the 9 to 5, Big up on yourself, hope the ship ends soon. People, then we have head home, get home safely. You know what I mean? Peeps, big up on yourself. Good night. We're there. K Reed. Craig Creation. Yes, big up the yourself, nature, you know. Ellis representing for X. I mean, I say Lady Rosie. Bachelor. Sasha, Sushana. Give Blessings. Peace of my story. Peace of extra class story. Yeah. A piece of my life. Peace of my life Hey, teach them I give them the story Hey, watch you now Extra class control country Lock the place in Jackie says she early but she left for her lunch money Now yourself, man, me go and have a lunch to the field, man Yeah, I'll go to you Did not have a place to stay But I prayed to Jack for a better day Teach them never stray. Extra classes for the trying man and trying no man. Working for a better situation. Extra classes for the trying man and trying no man. Working hard for a solution. I um, mean, I said, yes, big up yourself, you know, junglist, manners and respect, you know, eat. Blessings, Lance Crooks, Aretha, good night. You understand? Sadiq Gordon, blessings every time, you know. You understand? Be impressive. A sword, ink. Can never get that right. <laughs> Lady Sanja Morant, good night. Think of the first time you said the name. You're here for the first time. Welcome. Can I cut? Pick up yourself, you know. Let them keep firm and strong and not go insane. Richie, pick up yourself. You watch the, clip, the link when we send Kong Gay, brother. Yeah, yeah, all right now, sir. Full selection, extra classes for the trying man. You know what I think? So, we come for talk about three things tonight. You understand? The previous night we spoke about two things. So, we talked about three things tonight, and then I got my bed. So, nobody come here with no expectation for no one night chattings. Native James, bless up yourself, you know. Finar, what are you doing? Big up yourself, you know. Yeah, man, so it has been, it's raining. All of, it rain of all the whole day. You understand what I mean? I say, whole day. It break for like two and a half minutes. And um, when we live, rain not too far there. So if rain not far so long, it means it's some other place I wash it. You understand what I mean? I say, so I hope that. And I spoke to this on Wednesday night, I think, that in recent times we have been seeing a situation where, well, we are in the primary rainy season for the country, so ultimately there will be rainfall. Um, it has been consistent, so much so that the NWC I saw have lifted their restrictions for the corporate year, water restrictions for the corporate year, as the, the watersheds, are filling up again and um, the catchment areas, the dams and reservoirs are 
f- fooling up again. So, I mean, we give thanks to that. I sincerely hope that as the evening and night progresses, there will be no reports of flooding or land slippages. You understand? Because they know that's something that's going on. So, we hope for the best. Um, however, that said, there is a, a cause for concern. I'm so sure it's... Um, Sadiqi, big up yourself. You know, big up, good night again. You know, I appreciate the contribution. Yes, I, um, people you can share the thing if you don't know, you know want. You understand what I'm saying? Because I said, how much time I mean, every time, every night, you know, come and tell me the same thing. Like, I don't know, extra class thing, and I work out for you, and parents, if you stop wasting their money, because I said, you don't go pass. You understand? You know, slow, bad. Mm-hmm. Damien, big up yourself in a broski. Give thanks to the continued support, first and foremost. And, you know, I always appreciate the financial contributions from the ones. You understand? So we give thanks to the rain. But as I said, there's a slight cause for concern. Um, let me see if I can um, find one thing when we did see if we on one part around here. So, Zane. Uh, when we did see that. Oh, see it there. See if I can carry it over here. So. Boom, so. Close that. Expand that. Get my streaming software. Yo, technology thing, you rough enough. Right, so let me show you this. See, a picture is worth a thousand words. I don't know who put this here, sir. I don't know who put this right here, sir. Anybody put this here, sir, tell them to come back for. We, we know, we know, we, we, we don't like how this look. So, this is a picture of the, the region, the basin, and where you see X mark the spot, and you see that overlooking yellow line and then closing that are some diagonal lines it is suggesting that this area of low pressure has the potential to become a little bit more organized and uh, strengthening something that we probably don't want it to do and it may influence weather conditions across the island over the next few days, as per the report coming out of the Met Office. See, so, uh, as is customary for October, a broad area of low pressure has developed over the Western Caribbean and is expected to impact weather conditions over Jamaica over the weekend. The system could further develop near to the island over the next few days and is being monitored. So it is suggesting that where X is there, Whatever becomes organized or developed from this, it will move in a northward trajectory, taking it closer across the island. Um, so the U.S. National Hurricane Center continues to monitor an area in the Southwest Caribbean for a possible tropical depression or storm development over the next seven days as it moves northward towards Jamaica. So the name of the of of so if this. Invest, as, as we call it in, in my field, <laughs> if it becomes organized to the point where it becomes a tropical storm, it will be called Vince. So that is something I felt, you know, is, is prudent. I mean, you know, sometimes these things miss us because, you know what I mean, we're not, we're not up to date with mainstream media more time and social media kind of annoying. So, yeah, that is the situation. So... Apparently, there's more rain in store in the next few days, and we will continue to watch this area of disturbance to see if there will be any form of organization taking place. And um, yeah, so when it start look like it 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 serious, I probably start tracking it in terms of making videos. But for now, this is the this is the situation. You know, funny enough, back in 2016 when I started the channel, um, it was I think it was Hurricane Matthew. So I started tracking Matthew. And you know, because I teach local geography to a couple of youths from time to time, I was able to speak to certain things that probably some people in the space at the time weren't able to do, seeing that I, I am a specialist, a geography specialist. And um, that is what kind of kick-started the channel back in the days. You understand? Matthew, me did buy up some whole heap of things. And uh, sitting and then, me have to eat them after. Because uh, 
we never eat them during Matthew because Matthew did kind of turn one way. But we give thanks to that. You understand? There was flooding and stuff, so but it, there wasn't any direct impact from the system and them something. So we give thanks. Hey, Kerry, good night. It's good to see you. You understand? So this is the situation um, we watch and we see the, the surface temperatures for the past three, four months has been sweltering. And by extension, the waters in the Caribbean basin and the Atlantic basin for that matter is is very warm and the potential for disturbances developing into organized systems is always possible when the temperature is as um we kind of just step out at the peak of the hurricanes it, the peak month is normally september but you know the, the season extends up to the 30th of november but we're going in the future we will be seeing hurricanes being named in in december and january and them time based on what is happening to to global temperatures and also temperature on a local regional level you understand if you were in jamaica for the summer months it is the hottest summer and and records were broken all around the world as being the hottest day on record and then the next day is the hottest day and then the hottest day and then the hottest day so um we'll see what the next few days bring so at 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 at, at best i suppose there will be some amount of rainfall attributed to this era of disturbance at worst um i don't know so let's see i know favorability conditions are favorable at the moment there's no there's no wind shear there is you understand uh, so we hope for the best some of us are share that with you know? we're not getting to that part i think they're right you know we we, we are going to pray but you understand so please be advised that the potential for bad weather for the next few days exists and these things you understand and for the people who have been experiencing Flooding, because a few areas have experienced flooding in, in the past few days and such. Um, I hope that there is not much, if any, of that in, in, in the next few days. You understand? Now, last night, I tell you, you don't start call me sir. You understand what I'm saying? You don't need to start call me sir. This is the next example. Enough time... I tell you some things and the next time I come stream, I saw a thing going. I want to start addressing me by sir. Because I don't know if you know. Last night when I spoke to the fact that one of the, the accused in the kidnapping and murder of Tashina and her 10-month-old daughter pleaded guilty, I had suggested just a hunch that it was a, a plea deal that he got. And... I also said that I suppose he will become a prosecution witness as the matter develops, Zane, and that other people involved may plead guilty. What me never said that I should have said that it is a body blow to the other suspects, him pleading guilty, and based on my assessment, he would also have been the person who did the actual killing seeing that he was charged from he pleaded guilty to murder and kidnapping not conspiracy before or after the fact not no misprison of any felony he was he pleaded guilty for two counts of murder and two counts of kidnapping so that indicate to me that he was the actual trigger man that 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 i i presumed you understand now today another accused pleaded guilty so a second accused pleads guilty in murder of Paulwell's daughter and her mom so a second accused has accepted a deal accepted a what as Mr. Uno call me sir you understand can me tell you say that good as I go on a second accused has accepted a deal and pleaded guilty in the murder of member of parliament Philip Paulwell's 10 month old daughter and her 27 year old mother the man pleaded guilty to two counts of conspiracy to kidnap, two counts of accessory before the fact to murder, and one count of misprison of felony when he appeared in the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston today. 
He pleaded, follow, well, his, plea, his plea followed that of another accused man who on Thursday accepted a deal and plead guilt, well, pleaded guilty to murder and kidnapping in the shocking double murder. You see the difference? To the, to the, to the player pleaded guilty to conspiracy to murder and conspiracy to kidnapping and accessory and them something. You understand? The one yesterday pleaded guilty to murder and to kidnapping. So it suggests to me that he was the trigger man. Also, of note, if, if, you, if you pay attention to the reports, it is saying that when Leoda allegedly drove to Sheena to Stony Hill and handed her over to the men, some of the men who were there have not yet been apprehended. So it would suggest that the police are in search of more people in relation to the case. Because as I told you before, there's more to it. As to exactly how much, I don't know or I can't say. But, yeah, son, the two men are among four persons charged with the killing of the mother and child and these things. You see? So, so Leoda... Guys, give me a give me a minute. So he was sleeping and him just wake up and apparently him not see nobody. So give me a minute, please. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Thanks for your patience, guys. As I said, he was sleeping. His mother is sleeping as well. Well, she was, because I just wake her up. <laughs> so, apparently, she was sleeping somewhere else from him. So, yeah, him, him come beat them with her. Like, cha. All right. So, him, 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 all right. Oh. Give thanks. I appreciate that. When we did there now? I don't remember, but, yeah, that's the city witch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know when we did there. So, Leo and her cousin are the only two people that have not pleaded guilty. You understand? So we see what going They are going back to court. Well, I know Leoda is going back to court on the 1st of December. Zane, as it relates to Balfour, not sure. I think at probably the same time. You understand? Then, then, normally, the person where you call your wife, you're married to her still, you know, so I don't really know about the part there yet still. But, you're right. Uh, all right, sir. Fine, fine. Because... <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. I do. Cause we don't know. Larry Burke, where are you, bro? A long time. I don't see the man enough. Hope, hope all is well. Do it. Where are you dealing with family? A lady, Lorraine, how are you? It's good to see you. You understand what I mean? I said, yeah, man. Owen, Mark enough. Blessings, blessings, bro. Moonlight, teach. Do the other suspects get to know if the others. They must hear, I guess. I don't think they're in a vacuum like that or in solitary confinement. So they must hear. I suppose they are legal represent would also share that information with them. Also, you know, one of the one of the the, the person who pleaded guilty yesterday, one of his lawyers, Valerie Nita Robertson, Robert, yeah, Robertson. I think I don't remember the other person's name, but I think his lawyer is Valerie. 
You understand? And these things. So, yeah. Um, but they must hear somewhere along the line, Moonlight. Um, I don't know, secret. You, you see me? Caswell Campbell, big blessings to the family. Think of the first time yesterday. If we're not there for the first time, we're not welcome. You understand? Appreciate the support. For the people that were there for the first time, we know Friday night I have to relax. Or if we go party and them something there, so we take a look at time out on a Friday night and I share with me. I appreciate it. Your side, yeah, man, big up on yourself. So, that's the situation. Uh, as I said last night, it appeared to me that some deal was offered and it was taken by the first person who pleaded guilty. And apparently, the second person has also decided to take that deal as to the extent of the deal in terms of how much they will benefit from said deal is yet to be seen. You know, generally speaking, when you plead guilty to a crime, it, there's normally a 30% reduction in sentencing. That, that, is, that is the law. As it relates to the nature, though, of this crime, I don't know if the judge will, will facilitate that or take that into consideration. I, but, I, but then striking a deal with the Crown, then that would facilitate some more some form of reduction. So we'll watch and see. Um, we don't not know, um, sir, so proud of you as a father, being there for my son, he's 20. Big up yourself in a father. Errol, you know, we always say we try to be the father that, that we wanted when we were growing up. So, you know, how we wanted our father to, to treat with us. That's how we kind of try to treat with the youths. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So give thanks, brother, brother. Yeah. Father Richard, dig up yourself in the family. We appreciate the support. Love all your programs. Give thanks, man. Dig up yourself in the hope you and the family good. Yes, Fabian. Um, so we have to wait and see. It will be interesting. But just know that in the back of your mind, you keep it, say, a guilty plea normally constitutes to a reduction in sentencing. Sometimes the judge, based on the nature of the crime, then nobody give them still what we see what go on. And this crime, I suppose, is one of those that is very, very unconscionable. So we watch and see. Black Friday deals at court still. <laughs> Andrew, our, our <laughs> it was a Black Friday deal at court. You mean, you mean tonight, yeah? In a night, yeah? Let me know how the money for going to court right now. There's a few things some day I would have liked, you know. But say, uh, you have to have money for go down there. You understand? You can only imagine the terror that young mother and child had, got, had to go through. No deal should be allowed. Yeah, man, me get that little area and I understand um, your perspective there, Zane. But you know, the, 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 the law is the law. And um, certain aspect of it we, we, we are not comfortable with or happy with. In general, but I just saw a thing go. You see me? Um, mm, well, the judge can take the death penalty off and have them do life in prison. But in order for the death penalty to have been on the table, generally speaking, that has to be declared by the prosecution on the first court appearance. So seeing that all four people have gone to court and that has not been mentioned i don't know that the death penalty would be into concert and, and again so if there's anybody out there who can who knows more than about it than i do you're free to correct me my limited knowledge is that in order for the death penalty to be considered on the first possible time the prosecution has to make that known to the courts. And uh, neither occasion, there have been three court occasions now, and at no point in time, um, there... Oh, oh, oh. All right, Mr. Walker, I don't miss that. At no point in time was it mentioned that the prosecution was seeking the death penalty. So I guess it is not a possibility anymore, seeing that it was not at... The, 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 the first occasion stated by the prosecution. And seeing that there has been some form of plea deal and these things, I suppose. But I guess Leoda, though, that being said, Leoda has been charged with two counts of capital murder. And some forms of capital murder is what becomes, make you eligible for the death penalty. I am not an expert in these things. I learn, me I learn as I go along. I am happy that this case is not going to be presided by Justice Sykes. 
you understand? It is a female presiding judge. Zane, um, maybe that was part of the deal not to see. Yeah, as me as an eloquent man, that's a possibility to, too. You understand? But whilst Leoda was charged with capital murder now, then that's the next story for you next time. But we we'll watch and see. At least they're not wasting taxpayers' money. Yes, Native James, and that is the fundamental principle on which the reduction in sentence is normally considered because they are not wasting the court's time. So that is why a guilty plea is normally looked at favorably, favorably by the judiciary. Yeah, you're on a bright in here, you know. Yeah, me love the, me love, me like the comment section so far tonight. You know, I go on well. Yeah, son. Can the judge overrule the prosecutor and give him the reduction? Um, I suppose so because ultimately is the judge. Okay, so if there's a if there's a deal being struck between the crown and the defender and the accused. I don't know that the court would would, would, would would overrule that, seeing that it's a deal between the Crown and the witness. You understand? What the judge can do, though, is that whilst the reduction in sentence is a thing on a guilty plea, he or she may decide not to grant that. So I don't think it's automatic. But again, I don't know if you're a fuck either. So I'm kind of I kinda weird in the waters right now. I don't mean, I mean, I like that. Zane, um, Paula needs to explain why the death penalty is not being sought. I suppose, I guess people may ask her, um, is there a set percentage for the reduction? I have been seen. A 30% may know it to be, Rosie. I don't know if no 50%. A 30%. You understand? Um, eh. But, I, I, you know, it was just a little thing. When it, I, somebody said, you know, it was a Black Friday um reduction at, at um black friday sale at courts at the court so i guess i guess you see that but um he said so the judge has the authority to over you mean overrule even even a situation where some form of discussion was had between the crown and the witness as it relates to cooperation i, I well i guess so because ultimately the judge has a final say. Well, I guess. Um, but I mean, I've never seen a situation where a deal has been cut with 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 the the, the accused and the crown, and the the judge overruled that. Uh, it may have happened before, but I have not seen it though. Where's DeAndre? Him not come for parlors yet. Me not see him tonight. You know, he's probably busy. You understand. <laughs> The judge does have those power. Yeah, unlikely to see it. Though. Yeah, man, it's, it's kind of very unlikely because I suppose to Richie, and me, I'm just assuming here that the, the prosecution would also have some form of conversation with the judge presiding over the matter as it relates to a deal being, being worked on. So, But again, it would be good to have somebody in the legal field if you can't answer them questions from time to time, because I can't tell you, you understand? Me, me only can't tell you some of the few little things when I pick up as I go along. See? Nadine, Nadine said it's 50%. What is 50%, Nadine? The, the sentence reduction, I am almost sure it's a 30% reduction. Let me search for it. Um... All right, so let me read something here. So from the Court of Appeal. Uh, all right, so may I see a few articles. Bargaining with my plea. Guilty plea appeal. Um, and the one up here. So, so let me see if I can pick out something here. So, all right, this is very long. This is not it. See if I can pick out one number out of them long articles. I can't mean, see. It's somewhere between 25 and 30 percent. I don't know of a 50 percent reduction in sentencing for a guilty plea. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just say something. Maybe, well, I don't know. Maybe, come here, read. So, so the person who has a 50 is probably onto something. So here's an article here. Um, this was March 30, 2020. So you see, that's why we do these things and we learn from time to time. You know? So, all right. 
So it says plea bargaining, a fast track to justice. So the key points, more than guaranteeing a speedy conviction, plea bargaining provides benefit for multiple interests involved in a criminal matter, including victims of crimes, while ensuring the integrity of the justice system. So the facts, the plea bargaining involves negotiations between the attorney for the defendant and the prosecutor, where the defendant decides to plead guilty in exchange for an agreement by the prosecutor to vary the charges or a sentence. This could include dropping one or more charges, reducing a charge to a less serious offense, or recommending to the judge a specific sentence acceptable to the defense. Also, there is possibility for variations. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So the full story. More than guaranteeing a speedy conviction, plea bargain, we kind of said that already. Um, so plea bargaining involves we said that already. Boom, boom, boom. I could pick up. Cause them they just pick up some things and put them. A plea bargain is different from a guilty plea. All right. So, so, my, so what the two brother them do already? Well, in other case here is a plea is a is a plea bargain. It's it's not just a guilty plea. One half. I remember read it again. So a plea bargain is different from a guilty plea. See? Again, so Lady Nadine say up to 50, and me I say at 25 to 30, but I guess there is possibility that it go up to 50, but we'll see. So a plea, but I, I never really looked on this before, like gave this any thought. So a plea bargain is different from a guilty plea. The guilty plea, which is a judicial admission of wrongdoing, leaves the defendant liable to be sentenced by the judge. In a plea bargaining, there's an agreement between the prosecution and the defense about the terms of the guilty plea. The process often involves heated discussions, firm rejections, and eventual meeting of the minds between prosecutor and the defense. Now, Director of Public Prosecutions, uh, Paula Llewellyn, in outlining the process to JIS News, says there are three main things that the prosecution looks for when considering a plea agreement. The first thing that you are looking at would be what the facts of the case are or the allegations because they are allegations until you are proven guilty. So it is the allegations and the gravity of the allegations. Number two, if it is that the plea is to encompass a lesser offense, for example, you are going from murder to manslaughter, then you also make sure that as a matter of law, there is a clearly outlined legal justification to accept that particular plea. Thirdly, there is a whole question of assisting the investigation or prosecution. Now, Section 20 of the Plea Negotiations Act highlights the fact that if you have already pleaded guilty or you were found guilty in a matter, then you can negotiate with the prosecution, Llewellyn explains. This means if a person has been incarcerated for a life with parole, and they have knowledge of a particular case, they can approach the prosecuting authorities to assist the investigation in exchange for a sentence reduction through a plea bargain. Lulin says the length of time a person waits to consider a plea negotiation impacts by how much their sentence could be reduced, right? Because so if you plea guilty the first time you go to court, that is seen more favorable than if you go to trial and then decide, say, you know, look good, then you go plea guilty. See? All right, so my quick... But, but, but they pleaded guilty first. But is it a guilty plea or is it a plea bargaining plea? So it's it, all right. So make we can we now and confuse the process. This long man, make we continue now. So we come down to the matter of the discussion where Nadine is saying it's fifty. Some other people are. I I am saying twenty five to thirty, but apparently fifty involved somewhere. Under the Criminal Justice Administration Act. Through formal plea negotiations, if you plead guilty on the first relevant date, meaning the first date after disclosure of the documents, the accused can get up to 50%. Oh, so Nadine was right. The accused can get up to 50% of what they would have normally received if they had gone to trial. Okay, Lady Nadine, big up yourself. I stand corrected. You can also receive up to 30% off. That is the number that I am familiar with. You can also receive up to 30% off if you plead guilty on the day when the matter is to be tried. 
Oh, so if you plead guilty on the day of disclosure, you get you can get fifty percent. But if you plead guilty on the day of the, when the trial gonna start, you can get up to thirty percent. A war, a war, a war. Um, plea bargaining does not work in cases of homicide. Really, nigga. So so the brother we are testifying a beach is told case is a plea dealing. Get you know? But is a murder case that so me not are sh- probably me me not know. Him cut a deal with, with, with the prosecution, innit? I think so. Me not see. Um, Alright, me not know. But Negus has said a plea bargain doesn't work in cases of murder. Eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, as me say, I learned, me I learned to. So, me I, me I take that with a grain of salt for now. Me not dispute it still, but alright. With that green as I could continue, show me that you can also receive up to 30% off if you plead guilty on the day when the matter is to be tried. Now, during the course of the trial, before the verdict is read, the accused can get up to 50% reduction in their sentence. Oh, okay. So there's a 15 to 50% range. So if you plead guilty before the verdict during the trial, you can get 15% reduction. If you plead guilty on the day that the trial is set to, 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 to commence, you can get up to 30. And if you plead guilty on the first opportunity available, you can get up to... Okay, all right. Um, so I learned, we are learning. That's why we come to extra class, you know. Class, we don't learn everything in our school. It's an extra class, you understand? That's why then class is important, you know. They're not cheap still, but they, 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 they go on with that thing. Now... The sentencing range depends not only on the particular circumstances of the case, but also on sentencing guidelines and the range of sentences that previous matters have gone through the court systems and have similar type of fact scenarios may have attracted. I guess they call those case files in the legal fraternity. Yeah, So they use case files as, as um, a guide to sentencing, as a part of the sentencing guidelines, I suppose. All right. The provisions of the revised plea negotiation and agreement act of 2017 governs how plea bargaining should work in Jamaica, including the criteria used by the judges in deciding whether to accept a plea deal. Oh, so the judge can decide not to accept it. Teach, right? I know me a contemplate law school one day. Why not moonlight? Then probably you can be a resident lawyer. Case laws, not case files. I say case files, though. I good as case law, I feel say, man. I don't know what that means. So big up yourself, heat. Thanks for the correction, if I that me really say. See? All right. So, my quick, my, oh, so, so, so listen to this now. It is saying, because this is kind of important, you know. And Nadine, I'm glad you kind of lead me down that. that, that my name plan for contact. I treat it, I come to talk about you know. And now Nadine kind of adds it. But Nadine, big up yourself. I appreciate the fact that, you know what I mean? The discussion kind of led us down to this. Because I learn all the things right say right now. Good night, Roxanne. How are you? No. Listen, listen, watch a style yeah. Zin, the provision of the revised plea negotiations and the agreement act of 2017 governs how plea bargaining should work in Jamaica, including the criteria used by the judges in deciding whether to accept a plea deal. So the person who did say the judge can overrule did right. As I said, I guess the judge the judge have the ultimate say, so I guess they might have the power. It is very unlikely though that you're going to see many cases where the judge overrule a situation like that. But I could continue. All right. Consideration is given to the significance and usefulness of the person's assistance to the crown. Ta- well, taking into consideration any evaluation of the assistance rendered, truthfulness completeness, and reliability, the nature and extent of the accused person's assistance, and any benefit that the accused person has gained or may gain. Also considered is whether the accused person will suffer harsher custodial conditions as a consequence of the assistance or undertaking to assist. Right, because for example, if a man plead guilty and knows that I'm going to pressure him in a jail there, I guess more favorability is given in the in the, the time offered by the prosecution and the court. Okay. Also considered is whether the accused person will suffer harsher custodial conditions as a consequence of the assistance or undertaking to assist. 
any injury suffered by the accused person or the accused person's family or any danger or risk of injury to the accused person or the accused person's family resulting from the assistance. Mm, all right. Victims of crime included in the plea bargaining process. The DPP tells GIS News that victims and relatives of victims are asked to provide a victim impact statement detailing the effect of the particular offense committed by the accused has had on the victim and their relatives, and the judge is at liberty to take that into account. That is a part of the sentencing guideline. Director of Legal Services in the Ministry of Justice, Karen N. Wilson, says the inclusion of the victim in the process allows them to understand the nature of the agreement. Even in the old act, there was always a provision to consult with the victim, not necessarily to get the victim approval, but to have the victim understand the nature of the agreement, hear what the victim has to say and see how it may impact them. So it's a victim impact statement. Okay, fair enough. In some, me tired. In some cases, victims and victims are relatives and family members of the accused person. So what we try to do is in the law is to strike a balance between the rights of the victims of the crime and the other aspects of the accused person's life, she explained. Now, Minister of Justice Delroy Chuck says that in addition to the addition to the admission of guilt being the first step towards the rehabilitation and eventual reintegration into society of the accused, plea bargaining can save the court time and resources. It also saves the cost to the prosecution, the defense, everybody, which is quite significant. It reduces the backlog in the court system, and therefore, the more serious cases can be dealt with in a more calm and expedited manner. It obviously assists in showing that the accused person is remorseful, and therefore is a major mitigating factor to ensure that the accused is given some consideration. Can remember in sentencing, you know, the judge looks at the aggravating factors as, as opposed to the mitigating factors as well. You understand? So all of them things. All right. I learned, we are learning things in you know, law school with it. Minister Chuck said that plea bargaining guarantees a conviction. This is very useful for some persons who know they are guilty and acknowledge their guilt, accept the sentence that is agreed on, because they may well go to trial and be acquitted, burden the court, and at the end of the day, justice would not have been done. So I, I, the justice minister is more in favor of a guilty plea than that because he must say, you can't go to trial and, and get acquittal, you know, versus the guilty plea, we are sure of a conviction, even though the time is less than what may have been arrived at at a guilty verdict and conviction. All right, all right, sir. Make we continue. Um, I'm not tired yet. I'm tired now. I'm not tired yet. Uh, right. The justice minister notes further that unlike a trial where the only advantage the victim has is the ability to plead their case in court, plea bargaining saves victims the trauma involved in reliving the crime. Also, in the sentence, they can express their views. So all of that will be taken into consideration, which in a guilty plea by itself, that is not done, he points out. Now, Minister Chuck says that while there are persons who believe that the accused should not be given any benefit as they have committed a crime, the society must be prepared to acknowledge that time off should be given to the accused convicted person. Who now has saved the state not only time and resources, but a huge amount of challenges that the state may well have to overcome. And I have spoken to this many times. I have said the plea bargaining is an important tool in the justice system. However, there are some cases that it should be taken off the table. See? There are some cases, just like the, the Coco piece co um, murder situation there, so. Zane, there should be no plea bargaining and no table around that part. Yeah, and that is one case where, where readily come to mind. You understand what I mean? In a, in a case like that, you know, you know, it, it should be removed from the table. That is, and that is my view. So while I accept that having the plea bargaining agreement, arrangement available to accused personnel, 
there are some instances where it should be removed from the discussion. And again, me only I speak for myself. I can't speak for nobody where I watch the stream, you know. You are free to have your views on that. Me just share my little view upon this. So while I really information me I share that we always talk about this and there are some instances where them not forget the opportunity there. You understand what I say? The full force of the law should be meted out in some in some instances. Like You kill a 10 month old baby brother. The plea bag is not in at that. But that, that's just me. Alright? Alright. So I could continue. Which arm there? That's it me longer than the long night in a game of thrones. Um I can't keep up. Okay, meanwhile. DPP Llewellyn says that as more persons become aware of the benefits of plea bargaining, then more cases could be resolved through the process. She notes that most of the 73 matters disposed of during a recent four-week circuit in the St. Anne Circuit Court were done through the use of plea bargaining. There were 149 cases before the court. Yeah? Llewellyn says that while plea bargaining can have many positive effects by expediting the disposal of cases, Due process is critical to preserving the integrity of the justice system. You have to balance the rights of the accused to due process in a fair trial along with the public interest. This obligates us to put forward the best case and the best evidence that we have available in order for the issues joined between the accused and the prosecution to be properly and transparently ventilated in the public domain. This is done so that the public interest can be satisfied and that we know who is guilty, innocent, and ultimately that someone can be held accountable for having committed a criminal offense, she said. Now, persons considering plea bargaining should make a contact with their defense attorney as the prosecution should not negotiate directly with the accused. Where accused persons do not have legal counsel but would like to negotiate a plea agreement, the legal aid council can provide them with an attorney to provide an attorney to provide advice. Persons should not be forced by anyone, including their attorneys, to take a plea bargain. If it is found that a person was coerced into a plea bargain, the judge can refuse the agreement. Now Chuck says that if a person is not guilty, they should never plead guilty, and if it appears that they are pleading guilty to save somebody, the guilty plea should never be accepted. And for more information, you can visit the Ministry of Justice website. I can't go in no more. I'm tired. You understand? But that was a good read. That was an interesting read. For the better or for the worse of it. You understand? I am happy I, I took the time out to read that. Nadine, big up yourself. You understand? Eh. Alrighty. So, yeah. Jaro, big up yourself, you know. Man, as I respect to the people in the building, you know. You understand? As our laws are aligned to the British legal system, not America. Okay, yeah, right. So, remember, we are a product of the, the Commonwealth, you know. We were once a colony of Britain, and as such, most of what we do, legally and otherwise, is modeled off the British system. You understand? Our system of government, our judiciary, a lot of things are modeled of the British system. So, yeah. All right, so we we move. Um, and with these things, it is always going to be a, a, a matter of opinion. You understand? And, and how you assess that particular case, Zane. But for me, killing a 10-month-old child, there should be no possibility of any deal being given. And, and, and that is my view. The wigs again. Yeah, yeah, it was very informative. I learned so much just now because I was of the view that the maximum reduction you can get is 30, while Nadine was saying 50, and I saw we go look. Yeah, and I said, Camille, Tommy Lee, big up yourself in the Empress. How are you? It's good to see. I haven't seen you in years. Camille, yo, come in. I want thing with me, and I'm going to forget names, you know. Yeah, and I said, I see the name one or two times. I guess it's, it's a part of being an educator for so long. You become good at remembering names and things. But big up yourself, Empress. You I'm seeing a lot of people who who were here when when then so we couldn't read. Big up on yourself. You understand what I mean? 
I'll be get rich here, one of them too. You understand? Mm. <laughs> I told them, yeah, 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 share something with somebody and me I tell them how the channel start. And me I tell them, say, you know, it was a, a Note 4 and my old tablet. See? And me I give them the drama as to how me also. I mean, I mean, like I'm car right, you know. I remember telling you, I come to talk about three things. And Nadine, I'm talking about four things already. So right now, I don't have to go dust. Wait. You understand? I'm not in a rush again. I'm not about to rush. See? Um, I wait for us. See it there? Go over my community tab and show you. See it? Um, share my screen. You see? I'm open now. I don't want to see it. I don't want to blow people's business. You understand? Um, you can't scroll. Oh, you know, I scroll. You see what I said? I am not even know. When you salt, you salt. But you know, I scroll. But see your phone and your tablet. They are that new stuff. I mean, watch it. Because there's always a... Where there's a will, there's a ray. You know, no, no. I can't save it. Yeah, man. I can't save it, man. You know what I said, man? Save it to it. To the desktop, yeah. See, I can't find it, yeah, man. You know what I Boom. 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 Yeah, so you know I show me. Well, see that this is the genesis. This channel that you're seeing in front of your nice, beautiful faces. I just saw you start. Oh, Nadine, be careful with the driving thing. Then focus on the road. Eh? When you reach home, you get into it. So that Note 4 there, still have you now one job over here. So. The Samsung tablet there, still have you now one job over here. So. You understand? A four tablet, I have in a headline. But you mean I put them together, man, man, man and, and, and call them two and... 2.5. But, but uh, you wait, you wait, you wait. <laughs> so this is how it started. So the, 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 the drama with this now is that the phone was videoing me and I was reading from the tablet. So I was looking at the phone from the back. So because when I did a record earlier, it was dark and I was using the light from the phone to kind of light my face. So when I look down upon the tablet and look up in my phone light, and look back down on the tablet. I see nothing on the tablet for about one good few seconds, you know. It was, a, it was rough. You understand? Man, I'm saying, oh, the boy, a big boy. I say, my teacher, and he can't read. And... Those uh, dogs, I'm going to try farming. I sell back juice and then sitting there. I say, don't worry yourself, man. Watch your style, man. Just give me a look at that. You understand? I say, see we are now looking out, looking in, looking even better. I would say that. You understand? Save them for the team. I save them, man. I, I frame, if you get them frame and put up. Right around which part you see. Which part you see that, that frame there? Where you, where you see right back and my big head there, sir? I just saw it forgot. But I choose me to get the frame it. Because I want to frame it two of them in the same thing. You understand? I want to get around to that day. But I just saw the thing start, man. 2016, man. You yeah, see me? Eh, August 22, 2016, I think. I just saw. And, and we're there. We're there. See, we're going strong. You understand what I say? We can't read little now. <laughs> but we can move on because we have things to talk about. Because uh, uh, see if you have this uh, looking. Uh, speaking about, as Mr. Jamaica porn service, me have one story, you see, about porn hub. You understand? One brother. Because uh, he them, but ladies, let me tell you something too, before I reach around there. Ladies, some boy don't forget no video. I make a camera. Some boy don't forget no picture. And they don't forget no video. Oh, yes, man. Them. You understand? And lady, well, I, I guess as some people think for when them are, them are have sex, they, they like to be videoed. Can you have some girl like that? Me? Not, me, me? Yeah. I me, 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 back in the house, some girl. I said, send a picture, go and look upon that yourself. You understand me? I said, me, fi, set, go, yeah, you're, you're mad, man. Yeah, video, me, don't say, that not going to work out. <laughs> They say you, YouTube plaque and more. Yeah, what? Well, YouTube, yeah, around this, around our part, around this. YouTube plaque, did you know? You never see it. You never see it. Yeah, man, it's right above the frame. They say you just not see it clearly because of how the camera set up. You understand? Eh? Video is a must. <laughs> I have read. Well, Richie, tell you what. It, that, that relationship is not going to work out because I don't want that. You understand? If the Empress wants to send me a video, you know, me, me watch it. If she wants to send me a picture, I mean, look upon it and tell her thanks. You know, we appreciate it and, and talk about the things that we see. But uh, if I send a video, come here. I don't mean that. You understand? So, I don't know about that. 
So ladies, let me ask you right now. You see some man, and sometimes you're not even knowing man even a lady, so I can't even too, too blame you, because know, sometimes you have know, some good, good relationship, you know, and say, hey, I am that, you know. You understand? I'm a man that, you know. You see me, done me done with the road, you know. The road done with me. You understand? And, and you get very comfortable. But it's a waste, man. You just never did know. Because you don't know. As Cartel said, you don't know someone until you know someone, you know. You understand what I mean? So, you don't easy, you don't go easy with the video. You don't watch them together for your phone. If, if, you are, if you are make a video, you understand? So, make him watch it on your phone. When, when you can say, you know, they're not sitting there with me. Send your war. Pan what? Come, come look on that yourself, mama. I don't know if that's up there with you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Me not depend on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, if you want to watch, get a mirror put in the house. In a room for sitting, but say, other than that, I don't know where you're watching them because me not, me not, me not depend on that. You see, but to each is one, but you have some waste, man. See? Because many times, some of the videos them that you will see, for the people who visit porn of a name place, I want to talk to. When we see some videos sometimes, sometimes I, I some man video some girl and put it up there without them knowledge and I collect off it in a family. You understand? And the whole blackmail and extortion thing there. But me not even have money to f- take care of myself good enough. Much less here, I give woman money. Say she, man, le- t- le- look here. They're not going to see nothing what they never seen before. You know? There's nothing where me have that is new to this world. Pussy. Because me not have the money for give mama. So, in order not to reach on to that, then make it in a video thing. And then you will video it, you know. Or, you know, send it go get nobody and then your phone last. Jesus Christ, or then TV your phone. I really don't see if you know. So, on the video thing, that cause say, many lives have been damaged. Both of them things yeah, before, you know. So, we have to take sleep, man, then. But we soon come to one story around, so, cause say, the brother were, were running from Tamarind Farm last night. I mean, they tell if he circle them. They a put the brother moves a pool and then find him on to the end. Remember, say man left Tamarind. Where Tamarind Farm, the same catching a pool and then find him. You understand? Yeah, man. If you want, if you want to watch, you have to get a mirror, brother. Other than that, me not, me not know about it. You understand? And and me is a man where. I've, I've videoed me make my life half. I don't want to be videoed, man. I didn't screen enough. Me good with that. See me? Mm-mm. Tamarind Farm escapee recaptured in Portland. <laughs> Yo, you want to ch- look like all criminals here. Port- don't look here, Richie. Don't, don't. Portland is not my parish, you know. But Portland is my favorite parish. Portland is the most beautiful parish in the country, sir. Portland a good place with many good people. It's just that they have some few people like Beaches out and in front of them and, and, and some other people. But that good place, man. You understand what I mean? I say, eh, he man a travel. You understand? An escapee from the Tamarind Farm Adult Correctional Center in St. Catherine was this morning captured by the Portland police. I wonder yo. I wonder he reads up. He is 25-year-old Nathan with of Orange Hill, Brownstone, St. Anne. With an escape from the prison on Thursday, and was recaptured at a house located at King Street in Port Antonio at 11.05 a.m. on Friday. At the t- poor thing, I'm not even getting arrested because in you know, order for you to reach Portland, if I even drive, it's a good look to drive that. You understand? Him, 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 him probably should have stayed away there, then more arrested. At the time of his escape, Witter was serving a sentence of two years and six months for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Two years and six months. Witter was among a group of inmates working on the farm under supervision when he was reportedly seen running towards the main road and correctional officers on the ground gave chase. He ran a few all of them. Witter was able to elude the correctional officer. What them for do when Witter done serve in time? Then for make Witter enroll as part of him punishment for, for escaping and for join one track club. Because he man run everybody over run everybody over there. A man run left everybody and reach a port and then know. Yeah, fast him fast. You understand? You have to see man in talent and look on it. See? So as a part-time sentence for, for escaping custody, Zane, him, him need for join. So then you give Stephen Francis. Make Stephen straight name. You understand? Because Stephen alone look on him and feel like he might get punishment. So then you upper, upper, upper MVP. Make the great man. You understand? Because he's so, much 25. 
Steven have him for one two years, 27. Yeah, man, you can't get a couple of years out of time, you know. Mm. <laughs> it's a, tell you. Portland so far. A far in reach, and yes. A man at the road. You understand? Always head for the hills. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, Richie, it's all like you have the fundamentals already, man. So you sound like in quick, naturally. You just need for, for work on right? sprint farm, you know. You understand what I say? And, and fix him techniques. Frank, okay, I can manage that, man. You see me? Mm. <laughs> so, what's a, what's a valid knowledge of, of the prison? Okay. Yeah. Um, Daniel Rose alleged killer. Oh, so this is the next situation. So if this. The lady here, so we said that she not forget no plea bargain arrangement now, you know. And, and this, uh, uh, so these, there are some cases where I not think it's available for as me. And this is another one, yeah. Come here, look on a sentence for illegal gun and sitting two years and mash. Eh, joke business, yeah, man, I'm right for runner because. But normal, what me normally say, run a tamarind farm, they normally big man like with grandfather and them people that grow on this. I never know, so them have young boy. Say, so I thought tamarind farm was a prison specifically designed and designated for elderly convicts. I guess me, me don't know, me don't know. Eh, hey, ain't it for just Bill and Marie, cause no, you might get probably about two more here. You understand? Mmm. So, I don't know. You say run from two into four. And that, you say probably I get two more years. You say, you say, oh, Lord. No, so let me ask now, question. For the people, them, when no, Tamarind Farm, isn't it supposed to be a, a penal institution geared towards housing convicts that are elderly, older? So, I kind of did surprise when me my age. Man, did I pre-80? Why? I don't know. So, I me, me seek some clarification. But look like nobody don't know. Prisons are full, so wherever is up. Okay, okay. I did I think that I'm head to you, but I say, eh. So then I should have moved some older one from some of the other one them to this one, then free up some space. Why? I don't know. Speaking about prison filling up, we have one story, I got to talk about that too, because sometimes a man scam and an inter oh, I don't know why I go on this, so they might have one whole different conversation in our class about that. You know I'm going to say. Right. So Daniel Rose alleged killer denied bail. Eh? So K.O. de Sachel, the dental assistant who was named by police as the alleged killer of eight-year-old Daniel Rowe was denied bail when she appeared before the Home Circuit Court on Friday. She is set to appear before the court again on the 30th of November. So the police say Sachel, who was charged with murder in August for the June 8th killing of Daniel, was the intimate partner of Daniel's father. This was confirmed by Deputy Commissioner of Police, Fitz Bailey, who is in charge of the crime portfolio. Now, Sachel's arrest in late August was the first major breakthrough in the case, two months after Daniel's slaying. And then something. So she was remanded again. Um, low risk. Con okay, Larry. Oh, yeah. That, that, something normally you didn't call it true. Low risk. Mm, which is true. I don't know why I always in my head me I say uh, 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 the elderly. Maybe the links did get him there. Laugh out loud. I feel the right things in Jamaica takes you everywhere. But you would stop joking. <laughs> that joke out there. <laughs> that funny. That funny. Yeah, that's sad. Um, so KO the remanded um, thing. She did say she 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 never. Low risk and low IQ. <laughs> she did say she's not guilty. So she 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 will stand trial, I suppose. Um, naked women seek out prominent persons, strip and ask her a target to strip then blackmail them. Eh? Why father rad? That not work with me, sir. Anything she wants, she have to come look for that herself. You understand? I don't have no problem with sure in her real life, you know. Zine, but she has to come see that herself. She doesn't nah, see that for no picture in her video. But I understand, brother. I understand how these things go, you know. 
You see me? But in the world that we live, you understand? And, and with how people have become, you have to be careful out there because... No, it's, it's just a joke you make make um, um, <laughs> Roxad. <laughs> so I guess if there's a low IQ, like, like we don't know who the pan two years ago and then in runway, it might get about two more years ago. Yeah, that's what I said. So I, I, that's what I mean by low IQ. <laughs> Jamaica needs some anchor brace. Rad, as I, as I said, that, you know, a part of the, the new, ba the amended bail act is that um, people, some people who are on bail will have to be outfitted. Well, not outfitted. <laughs> will be fitted with, with monitoring devices, i.e. ankle bracelets and them things. Um, Lady Michelle, watching from Boston. Big up yourself in the Empress. You know, we appreciate the support. You understand? Um, cut out reporting to police. Most person lose their life like that. Um, but then... Oh, so yeah, so if you have the ankle bracelet, you have to, you have to report to the police. Yeah, which is true because there have been a number of murders where men reporting on bail have been ambushed and murdered. Which is true. That that that's that that that's a a fear a fear point. I can accept that. You understand? So, but 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 Rad, remember say from 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 me a little boy, me a ace of the police, I might get body camera. You know? I know me a big man. You understand me? I say. I have a few great years from time to time. And the police they still not have that. You, you feel like say they might get the body camera, they might get the, the ankle bracelet them in a good time. I would have hoped so. There's an elderly prison in Manchester side. What a prison is the name? Boston is in Massachusetts. <laughs> Cause we know say that's why you ask me, brother. So bad move right here, so yeah, man. See? What what oh, Roxborough. Okay. Oh, cool. Yes, we're learning. You know? That's how you come here, see, you know? Yeah, that's... Okay. I think me here about the prison already around the Manchester side, but I never knew it was designated for the elderly. Yeah, you understand? Mm. All right, Jamaica Pwn Service, that me I say. Zane? No, man. Prison, prison... Me, no, me, I've heard about the prison before, but I didn't know that was the... the, the Jamaica don't have house arrest. I don't... I've never heard of that in the I've never heard of anybody in Jamaica being placed on house arrest. If it if it has been done, I I I don't know. Um, if it is accepted under our laws, again I do I've never heard of it. But it's a, okay, interesting. So when I say ankle bracelet and house arrest, but I guess with house arrest, it's like you 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 get up on curfew, though. I don't mean, know because you have. As it relates to bail condition, some people can't leave their yard at night time, but they don't really house arrest that fully because they can go out at day, but they can go out at night. Eh, I don't know. Uptown. But junglist, for not real now, no joke thing. You actually know of house arrest cases in Jamaica? I mean, I don't know about them. So, so that's a Daniel situation. Now, you remember last night we talked about the fact that the US Embassy has said, them citizens will be careful after a mother was killed by her son, allegedly. Um, he now has been charged. So a Kingston man has been charged with the murder of his mother in the parish on Monday, October 23rd. He is a 35-year-old Damien Bailey, a mason of Redis Road. 54-year-old Marvel Johnson was reportedly stabbed to death by, by Bailey. Now, reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that Johnson was visiting the island from the United States to attend to her son, who was behaving boisterously. While at home on Wavell Avenue in the parish, Bailey, armed with a knife, attacked his mother and inflicted stab wounds all over her body. She was assisted to hospital where she was pronounced dead. SSL lady got house arrest. She did? She did? John and Pantan was on the house arrest? Mm, I don't remember, to be honest. If house arrest were in Jamaica, everyone would gladly take it. <laughs> but I suppose there are, there, are, there are stipulations and regulations surrounding that door, Jamaica Port Service. So, be, well, I guess being at a yard is far better than being at jail um, and thing. She is in jail now. I'm sure she is in jail because she did one on TV and some other things. 
AC, I look at Joe. She never sent money AC, but she did want TV and some other things. You understand? She thinks she didn't want a new mattress to and then sitting there. Zane. But I don't know if initially she was she was placed and I don't know. That may I say I know she's in custody of the police, but I, I don't know if at any point in time um she was on I don't know. We can't speak to that. You see? Oh, she, she wanted a better fan. She wanted TV and she wanted a new mattress. Those were her requests. You understand? Then you have to ask the things that you want. Then you want to want. You want to go to jail and just go lay down on concrete. You want to stay there. You want to go to jail. You understand? Jean asks what she wants. You can't stay there at nights. You see me? Because I you know. <laughs> I thought she was still an arrest in her. No, man. She, she, she in her custody. No, man. She has been in police custody. Man. <laughs> so I played a G reporter. No, that that our copyright. The video, the video, the video. Yeah, Mama says she want a better fan. She want a television, and she want a better mattress. And I don't know if she did get the TV, but I know the mattress and fans were were made available. Yeah, that's what I mean. So Jamaica is really not a real place. <laughs> look here, look here. I am with Jean on this one. She, 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 she sees some problems and she highlights them and she asks where she wants. You understand? I am not with her on the SSL thing, but in terms of making the request, I don't have pressure Jean. Jean realized her thing not look good and she had tried to up the thing. You understand what I say? She, she, she used to a certain level of, of, of levity, man. You understand? <laughs> Karen Roberts, good night. Close mouth, don't get paid. And that's what I think I can say. Jamaica will cut her. Oh, but Jaro, there is there is something in the law that treats with that. So if you tamper with the, the bracelet or remove it, then you, you shall talk to the judge again. You understand what I'm saying? So that, that provision, there's a provision in the law to treat with that. But you, you, you're probably on to something, Jaro. I, 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 I saw it go. You know what I'm saying? Steam fish and lobster tail. Anything bore my head like nail. <laughs> Jaja. I uh, saw. <coughs> I uh, have to take bad things, but you work, you know. Now, maybe not try to sidestep them story from a taller time. From, from, from the week start, me not, me not trouble none, none of them story because uh, me, me, me can't keep up. But there was a third murder in Salt Spring in 12 hours. Salt Spring kind of salt like. So a man was gunned down in Salt Spring, St. James on Friday morning. A third murder in 12 hours, which has left the volatile community on edge. He is Anthony Forbes, otherwise called... Plot up, I think I saw it say, or a gummy, a mason of Flower Hill in the parish. Now, reports are that Forbes and his son were at home about 1.10 a.m. when armed men forced open the front of their dwelling and opened fire, hitting both occupants of the house. The assailants then made their escape, and Forbes succumbed to his injuries at hospital while his son was admitted. Now, Forbes' death comes just about 12 hours after a couple was gunned down in the community on Thursday afternoon. You see me? They have been identified as 22-year-old Imani Jarrett of Flower Hill and 30-year-old Odeen Smith. There are allegations that Odeen is a gangster. Reports are that they were shot after they were dragged from a car by men armed with rifle and handguns about 1 p.m. When the police arrived, the bodies of both individuals were found a short distance from each other. Now, during the attack, Classes were in session at the South Spring Primary and Infant School, with reports saying that students and teachers cowered in fear on the desks and the tables after explosions were heard. Now, it is theorized that the target was Smith, who was on, mur who was on murder charge stemming from an incident that took place in Westmoreland in 2020. He was scheduled to appear in court in November on the matter. Now, reports as well... Reports as well are that he was a suspect in a murder that occurred in September of this year. Oh, so Smith is a... Okay. So I'm going to read one article in relation to, to that. So an alleged gangster and a woman believed to be his common-law wife were fatally shot in South Spring. So it's the same case. But this article is providing a little bit more detail. Zane, so I don't know about the part there. Now, um, shall we there? So... This was by the Jamaica Observer. So it says, Jamaica Observer sources identified the two as 22-year-old demand Jarrett of Refuge Lane, Flower Hill, St. James, and Odin Smith, 30, with addresses in Flower Hill and Logwood in Withorn, Westmoreland. 
Now, according to the sources, the two were passengers in a grey 2010 Toyota Wish motor car in the vicinity of the Summer Spring Infant School, primary and infant school. They were, as they approached a speed bump near the school, the vehicle was accosted by five men armed with rifles and handguns. In a bid to escape, Jarrett and Smith attempted to flee from the vehicle, but were chased and gunned down. The driver of the vehicle escaped unharmed. Oh, so there was somebody else in the vehicle. On their arrival on the scene, the police found Jarrett's body lying face down in the middle of the South Spring Road, while Smith's body was found on the side of the Hall Road. Both were pronounced at the hospital. And sources said Smith was on a murder charge in relation to... I don't know all of them something there. Yeah, so... Ah, uh, no. Nadine reach home. Nadine said she did a drive, you know. Somebody said Nadine is safe. Nadine didn't reach home yet. You understand? Mm. In front of the school, Richie. Yes, sir. While, while sleeping police apparently did it. So them did have to slow down and you know it didn't go. No, beach is still trying never keep yesterday. That's why we never talked about it last night. But it go on again today. <laughs> Aye, sir. Um, so bubble are still up on the stand. You understand? And Townsend still at, at treat with him like in cousin from country. You understand? Know Rush. Beach Stout's alleged hitman claims police inserted lies in statements. <laughs> Anytime we read anything about this a child, we just have to laugh. And me not, and I like me get up and mean for laughing. It's just that the where's a fox stranger than fiction? I, say, I, I don't even know. Season one, episode six, Beach Saga. But I tell you say show name how Beachy became stout, man. Then Valin Minor. The second witness in the Everton Beach is on McDonald murder trial alleged during cross-examination on Friday that the police inserted incorrect information in statements that he gave to them. Beach is thought is on... I don't know all of that. In court on Friday, Christopher Townsend, one of the four defense attorneys, quizzed Minot about statements he made to the police about certain dealings he had with Tonya before she was killed. It's like the OJ... The four lawyer OJ did have Johnny... Then the, the professor from Harvard, Harvard are here. Then you have one next lawyer where who, he was a superstar, the, the short white brother. There. Then you have one, I think a four lawyer. Then um, Johnny did a role with him, a beach a with four lawyers. The case started look shaky from a long time, Richie. Richie, mem, yes, Kerry, I remember. Richie, remember me tell you, say, from Bubbler, from the cross examination of Bubbler started. See? I started to say that I, I made it a point of my duty to point out what, <laughs> what Christopher Townsend was doing. And I this, this I am sure that the prosecution were feeling very buoyed and happy about having Denvalin's testimony. But in our work out in them favor, sir. So make we continue. But true, Richie. So I said that for my tall at times, say case that look look one type of way. Like me not, but remember we is not no we 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 not upon the jury and, and we not the judge and we don't really know a law like that. But outside looking in from a layman perspective, not a lame man in a, from a layman perspective, L A Y, you understand? It 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 not look safe. You understand? Tell about the Portland people there. <laughs> So in court on Friday, Christopher Townsend, one of the four defense attorneys, quiz Minot about statements he made to the police about certain dealings he had with Tonya before she was killed. Townsend asked Minot if he recalled telling the police that Tonya had given him a cell phone at one point, and the witness responded saying, No, sir, I did not tell the police these things. Yes, sir, it is my signature, but this is not what I told the police. I cannot read, so the police read it back to me. The police told a lie, Minot said. <laughs> Townsend then asked Minot if he recalled telling the police in his statement that he told Tonya that a gun she was looking to buy would cost $220,000. Minot said, I did not tell the police that. The police put all of that together. The police wrote all the statements I gave them, and I signed. I gave a statement and I saw some papers in front of me, so I signed it. Jesus Christ. Although the witness is serving an almost 20-year sentence for being the contractor in the murder, he claimed in court that 
I never killed a soul from my barn. <laughs> you funny man, how beachy became stone. Then I write there, that's the lady after it. Then is is yo, Bobla, Bobla, Bobla just a living life. Right now, Bobla no business with nobody. Car Bobla can't be so <laughs> Yo. I just confirmed with my pops, correctional officer, 38 years at Tamarin Farm. He said it holds low risk prisoners. It's wide open where you can just leave if you. <laughs> what do you mean, say wide open? If you, can, you can just leave if you. What do you mean by that? Key? Big up King B, pops. But the, so me, me, I was following up until you said. Me, I was following up until low risk prisoners, uh, King B. But it is wide open where you can just leave if you want. That part, I mean, what do you mean by what? 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 <laughs> what, that, what that, where that? King D pops. Big up yourself, yeah, sir. You understand? No, but say, you know, Bobla, no business with no. Let me see if any more article did the Bob Bobla before we move on. Because I will next it before we talk about this again. You understand? Because Best Buy recalls nearly 1 million pressure cooker. After reports of 17 burn injuries. Eh? Eh? My pressure cook can look like that. I remember buy a best buy. <laughs> so, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me check your papers then before we move on. Because uh, Spain report and Catholic Church sex abuse estimate victim could not. Oh, hundreds, hundreds of. Th oh, no, listen to that headline. Now. I mean, I'm going to read the story, now, but listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Spain's report on Catholic Church sex abuse estimate. Victims could number in hundreds of thousands. <laughs> tell about church, you know. Yeah, sir. Well, the man tell us, uh, a Catholic people, them, them different. May I search if anything more Palm Beach come my road? Because sometimes one newsroom, one news outlet, not, not capture a whole I think, you know. Zane? Uh, let me check. Because I want an article I've seen at the Observer, but it looks like nobody else is right now about him yet. So, Bobla, you know, Bobla just, Bobla just go and live. Bobla not busy with nobody about you, so that's how I'm sure. Bobla not busy with, him man just a talk, him, him man in a business. <laughs> in a business, because right now, right now, a defense will lead the child, yes. <clears throat> when you look at everything, when you look at everything we are going so far in our trial, the defense are lead at that meeting. When I turn the prosecution did a lead, but a defense are leader now. Yeah, and they're not close. See? A, a lens are give So they must have to make up back some journey because me don't know. Eh. <laughs> uh, <it's> a... <laughs> Constitutional court says it has no authority to invalidate Bogre law. So the long and short of the story is that a challenge that was brought by one. I don't remember my name. My name? Uh, Maurice Tomlinson has been dismissed by the Constitutional Court. You understand? So. Jamaica's Constitutional Court, let me get back up there, my comments, because it's very funny, you know, hilarious, you understand? Yeah, Maurice Tamlin is a phenomenon, I don't know the name of it on my head like that. You see me? Um, I mean. So, Jamaica's Constitutional Court, I did a video, as a matter of fact, let me play a video. Because, uh, I know someone know what you're doing, but I'm going to play. See, oh, you know what I'm going to play to me, I'm going to all right, you see, I win winning, you know? Yeah, this sure. video was brought to you by the limited... All right, all right, all right. We're not ready for you talking yet, teacher. You have to wise. You have to use one stone, kill both three birds, yes. Zane, let me share my screen. You understand? There's a, a dive video. Now watch what I go on. Edition, step with your merch collection. Whoa. This video was brought to you by the limited edition, step with your merch collection. Get yours while stocks last. Oh, Good. now that me for play. Boom, but the advertisement that me I play now. Um, this video is brought to you by the Step With Jack <laughs> merchandise. All right, we'll get to the full advertisement, but you know what? You know, see, see, see the video here. Yeah. Collection. Yeah. Jamaica's Constitutional Court has rejected a challenge to the country's bugger law. 
The challenge, which was brought by Maurice Tomlinson, a gay man, was dismissed by the full court on Friday morning. The three-judge panel ruled the Savings Law Clause of the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms prohibits it from entertaining a challenge to the colonial-era law which prohibits anal intercourse. Justice David Batts handed down the ruling. In the final analysis, the words enacted in Section 1312 of the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms, Constitutional Amendment Act 2011, are clear. Parliament intended to protect laws related to sexual offences from review for unconstitutionality. This was done in the same year changes were made to the pre-existing offences against the person act. There is consequently no warrant for a suggestion that the amendments either change the nature of the law or prevent the savings law clause having effect. I would, for all the reasons stated, uphold the preliminary point in favor of the defendants and dismiss the claim. So the order of the court is the constitutionality of section 76, 77, and 79 of the Offenses Against the Person Act cannot be inquired into in the light of the Savings Law Clause in Section 1312 of the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms in the Constitution of the Jamaica. The claim, in consequence, stands dismissed. Tomlinson's case was initially halted after the Court of Appeal ruled earlier this year that a separate trial should be held to determine whether the Constitutional Court had a jurisdiction to entertain the challenge in light of the Constitution's Savings Clause. The limited scope of our inquiry is in consequence of an order of the Court of Appeal made on the 31st of March 2023. That order provides, and I quote, a separate trial is to be held to determine the preliminary issue of whether the constitutionality of Section 76, 77, and 79 of the Offenses Against the Person Act can be inquired into in the light of the Savings Law Clause in Section 1312 of the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms in the Constitution of Jamaica. The clause insulates certain laws from being challenged on constitutional grounds. The application was opposed by several interested parties, including the Attorney General, the Lawyers a Christian Fellowship, and at least nine other religious groups. This video was brought to you by the limited edition Step With Your Merch collection. Get yours while stocks last. The links are in the description below. I'm not going to buy merch. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I said, so I'm going to play a video. So even if I'm not watching it, I'm going to make sure I'm not watching it. You know, so you know what I think. And peeps, the, the, the merch design, just like the channel logo, was designed by Richie, you see here. Him, him is, him, he has taken it upon himself to be <laughs> the designer for the channel. You understand? Uh, uh, he don't charge me neither. Good youth. You see me? <laughs> So if we don't need some graphics works done on, on the can link, Richie, you see him say website coming for the channel. I am the, the, um, the, the mastermind behind these things. You see me like when the channel logo change, him just messaged me and said, teach. A full time the channel get a new look, you know. You understand? When when the, the merch I said, teach, check your email. You understand? I could talk some business. Good youth, good youth, good youth, good youth. So we don't go buy things then. You yeah, understand what I mean? I said, I have picked up a feed and woman I breed and they sit there. So, you know, you know, no, 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 I do. Yeah, I, I don't have any, <laughs> any children I do here at the moment still with us. I said, yeah, I said, um, yeah, man, I rich, rich, I that rich do for your living, you know, apart from fooling around. Mm. <laughs> so, the constitutional court and, and there was, ma there was massive cheers across the country today. I am, I am surprised posing by people who are heterosexuals. You understand? And I suppose there was disappointment within the LGBTQXYZ HG community. I mean, we can't keep up with the letter them because every day they had one next one. I mean, I really know. Yeah, son, one in a belly. <laughs> one hard. One a proud. You must do it, brother, because uh, you think that you would have cheap, sir. Right, right now? It, it, 
because our parents and grandparents and had kids in, in easier times, you know. Now everything there, brother. You understand what I mean? I say it's rough. You, they're not, they're not cheap, sir. You understand? Oh, we give thanks. You see me? So, technically what happened in court, though, is that there's a law that is called the Savings Clause. And what the Savings Clause does, it insulates certain laws from being contested or challenged on a constitutional ground. Our constitutional basis, yeah? So one of them is the bug law. So it has a saving clause, which is like an insurance policy. So you cannot challenge it in the court and say it is unconstitutional, technically speaking. You understand what I mean? So that is that. Um, but I guess the flip side of this is that, so while the matter was dismissed and thrown out, the truth is that we live in a country now that is... You have many people of the LBGTQ group who live here. You understand? I think from when I was a boy until now, Jamaicans on a whole have become way more tolerant, far more tolerant. And I think, you know, for a long time, most people never do do business with them people, you know. As long as you don't bring your thing on my side, you're good in them G. You understand? I mean, when I was a, when I was a boy, I mean, they used to talk about them things, yeah. You understand? But if you stay over the sub G, everything good. You're free to live your life and 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 a L L G B T sometimes I say L B L G B T Q I A plus. Yo. Oh, I just say reach. Lady Andrea, big up yourself. Positive vibes. Oh, I go on family. It's good to see you. You know, all these years, I don't positive vibes has been a subscriber of the channel for a long time. From before spread out bad. You see? And positive vibes has always commented on the videos. And in the, I don't know if positive vibes is male or female, you know. So positive vibes. Because I don't want to call you a female and you turn out to be a male, you know. Me, me not going to feel good about that. And vice versa. You understand? So declare your gender for me. If you can. Because right you now these are... I joke me on it, man. But I don't know. Honestly speaking, I, I suspect that positive vibes is a female. <laughs> ah, is that? So let me know before me feel like suck out back Joe said that. We don't, we, don't, we don't love a feeling there. You understand? Well, the list, not that long, Rosemary. Yeah. You see? Positive vibes is a woman. I mean, tell her with no vibration, you know. Big up yourself, Empress. You know, we appreciate your continued support down the years. <laughs> I know uh, seriousness. If you're looking for a talented graphic designer, oh, so they never see us. Yeah, Richie, do we not assume that's how we have to ask? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Um, so, as I was saying, you know, when I was growing up, the, the tolerance for homosexuality was very low. Yeah, understand, in, in the general population. But over time, based on my observation, I see where people have become a lot more temperate and a lot more f accepting i suppose i don't know if that is the right word but i think there is more um uh, more of a coexisting type of vibration now and then the man them the man them bro you miss all the trouble in the club i work me i work in the rules we can't keep up yeah that's what it is it's, it's work working yeah so, so um the the, the, the the societies are such now where many of these people are very influential in the society. Tolerance is the word. Okay, I guess. Zane? Um, many powerful people within the society are now a part of the, 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 the community. And um, people have become very accepting. Zane, a long time, the girls, them them bestie is 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 is, is, is like women, I've always found women to be very tolerant of of homosexuals. You understand? So a long time them are ease themselves into the thing. So I mean they have been here, they have been living among us. Um and I suppose that will not change even though it is a lifestyle that is quote unquote illegal in terms of the bug relan thing. But I mean what to do, you know. 
you understand? There was a point in time where some of them were dressing up as female and I got to dance. And, and some, some, some of those stories had very bad endings. Because me and say, I was a youth where I got a party for three things. You understand? Three things I got a party for, you know. I got bust some blank, drink two guineas, and wine for one two girls. And then me and I party, you know, and now one brother was just up in our one frack car and sit. Come on, wine for me and then sit. It's a dangerous situation, nothing, you know, because, say, uh, well, I mean, I know. So, quite a few people have lost their lives in 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 that situation. They are not people. I just pretend. R- Ricky, why I say people not people not people not tolerant. Them just a pretend. I'm not, I'm not sure. Cause I'm not follow your comments like that, you know. You see me? But I mean, the law is the law. But I think that as a country, uh, the, the 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 level of intolerance that existed when I was growing up. For the LGBTQ, me not do if me know if me ask. I mean, if me ask B before G R G before, but don't know me at all. But has 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 mellowed out a lot. You understand me? I say it has leveled out a lot. With like many parties are being held for these people. Like it it. Yeah. But I guess the law is the law. if I want thing I can depend on Jamaica court system for rule against. Um, changing is the bugger law, I suppose, yes, sir. So, enough people have... Enough, some of the comments that I've seen, many people are expressing confidence in the justice system tonight. <laughs> Kamili! I, 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 here we go. I don't tell you now. So, when I was... When I was a young man in my prime, go out and sell and see the girl them how I... Just easy, no, man. You understand what I'm saying? Jamaica has gotten more tolerant and more inclusive over the years. Uh, that is the word. Sexual deviance is now is no a thing. Yeah, nothing really taboo about it anymore, you know. You see me, I say, nothing really taboo about it anymore. Because, say, uh, right, you know. And, and, and many people, and this is the next thing, yeah, too. A lot of the people who we give credence to on social media and uh, we, we consider to be, what you call them people, eh? Public figures, many of them are known homosexuals, and 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 people support them wholeheartedly. Same way, so I mean, like it, it was just a matter of time. I mean, there are many people who has made their sexuality known, and and Jamaicans still support them wholeheartedly. So it was just it just was it was just a matter of time, I guess that. The, the tolerance level um, increase, I guess. But that's the situation, yeah, sir. Um, Mr. Maurice Tomlins, I don't even think Maurice live here. I, no, Canada, I think I Canada and live. You understand? Um, and something, something, something. So he was championing that. I think there was a situation where he, I think even can receive him on TV, Jay got, got court, you know. I'm almost sure that. CVM and TVG were taken to court because they decided they were not going to air a particular advertisement that I think Tom Linson was involved. I think so. I guess somebody soon, soon, soon remind me about it or, or, or provide confirmation because I think so. So I think there's a case where they were taken to court as well. Right, so they refuse to hear a particle. Say, so, may I tell us, so Canada and Portland people. <laughs> ah, it's a, some people. Yeah, that's what I say. Uh, mm, yeah. Um, Finar, what is the what is the status of that case? Was that case resolved? Because I think was it a situation where the court ruled that TVG and CVM had the right to hear what they wanted to. I think so. Because you are going with you are going with it with it with the homosexual thing you know too. Zane. And especially as parents, we have to be careful too. Them are try them been and try to sneak it in some books from, from a longer time. But now every program you watch man, all cartoon. You understand me? I said all some cartoons are being being laced with with, with homosexual content and 
Um, and thing I would have to. Re- okay, for now, and I say a word. Um, so, some of me think it. Me not sure. You understand? Like me cover so many things. Sometimes me not know. Zane, like every time I sit down to watch, look at TV. I mean, I don't really watch TV like that. I watch mostly documentary stuff. You understand what I mean? I said things where me I really learn something from. Me not have the time to sit down and watch certain things on TV. You know, me watch football. Me watch sports in general. You understand? You know, I'm a avid sport fan. Like, there's this thing on TV where the miss is like, amazing, amazing race. See? Like, she love it. She call it her show. <laughs> and the other night, I think after my done stream, Wednesday night, I got in the living room and sit down out there and I watch it with her. Until I see two men, where they say them, are, them, is a, them is a one of the team. It's a kiss, they want. I mean, I said, Pam, the, the, you mean? I mean, I said, I watch look amazing race. So, you reach us so. Every look good thing, every time I go out, they go, even, even in a social, she, what a AGTV, she, she watch that a lot too, see? And, me don't know, probably I just smile look. But every time I go out there for watch look TV with her, some, 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 Woman and woman are look close together, and man and man are look close together. I mean, I said then, I don't I mean, tell them I don't to live their life, but I don't put my TV, yes. I can't, I don't have trouble around because she watch it. I just left. Cut. Most of the times, when I go out there for watching the TV, I cut because. So I'm not too bad with the TV thing. You understand? I'm me, 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 me curious what I watch because. Uh, <laughs> We say like TV <laughs> that we had this one. It thing on nine, but every every show, every little movie. You understand me? I say, hey man, them put so and more time you know, have nothing for do with for do with um the storyline and the brother. You say it to me and say, me stop watch series already because that it, like me just me don't me now watch that brother. I'm I'm mash up mash up the thing, you know. I me skip one whole season, me know another season there. Me not bother want watch a season. There. You understand? Because I like party because of a show. And, I, and, I, and then Game of Thrones. And then me I said, then this no. Uh, this. <laughs> ah, some cartoon me. Yo, I don't even know yeah, bro. It thinks that right now, <laughs> it's it, it rough. You see? So, it, well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, man, it's very, John Kono, that is the word. It, it has been normalized. And as I said, Many people and, and uh, adults are free to decide what the type of lifestyle they want. You keep that in your space. I get that. But for a situation where millions of people will tune in to watch something, why are they forcing it on on Anjo? Big up yourself. I saw the email. I ne- never get a reply to you. However, the number that I have for said person, I have been trying to get the person for. I have only spoken to him once and I've called that number over 20 times. I, I am still willing to share it, so probably your luck is better than mine because I have been wanting to, in, to, to, to interview the great man, but um, we still will go. But I see the email, brother. I just never get run to it yet. You understand what I say? Yeah, but between me and we got foolishness still enough. Yeah, me go watch your movie and me never please. And the last equalizer, why? <laughs> it, it, it wasn't as good as the ones before, yes. I put it that way there. So, yeah, but yeah, me understand what you say. But it thinks that way, brother. You are free to live your lifestyle. And, and one of the issues that we're facing to is that a lot of the people who are in control of these things and are the movers and shakers behind some of these things are living that particular lifestyle. You understand what I mean? So it has been forced upon people. You see me? Me and me, you're not supposed to sit down and watch TV for, and that are forced upon you. If, 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 if people want to watch that, then go select it over some man. You understand? It's like porn. If you want to go watch porn, then go watch it over some. You understand? That not fit up on regular TV where people are watch like that. So, you know me? But again, that is just my view on the thing. But uh, every man is free to, to live the lifestyle where they want. And, 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 and before I go, let me say this too. 
Zane, I kind of got rubbed a few people wrong, you know, but that's all right. You see, if you are going to be gay, just be gay. And if you are going to be heterosexual, just be a heterosexual. You see, the people, them, we are a swing boat, to, it's dangerous. You understand? Because a lot of unsuspecting people get caught up in a, the whole quagmire involved in that situation. Many women have, have suffered significantly health-wise because they are married to or are involved in a relationship with men who are participating in homosexuality. Sometimes a woman gets sick and them non doctor can't tell them what happened to them and like feces enter them system. Cause them don't know so them partner involved in them things there and, and so on. So if, if you're gonna do the thing, do your thing, man. Nobody nobody no no nobody mix the thing, bro. Yeah, I say that I the part I think they're dangerous, bro. But I believe I get into that. the next story, Phoenix. Because right now, me not even know me reach on this, you know. Me I left around this. So. You see? Mm -hmm. Cha -cha. I mean, I tell her. It will swell prisons. So you know a lot of amendments are afoot as it relates to some of the laws in this country. So the Firearms Act was amendment was amended <laughs> recently. The Bail Act was recently amended. The Offense Against the Persons Act is being is being is going through the process of amendment. So a lot of laws are being amended. You see me? And one of the concerns that has been raised about mandatory minimum sentences is one, it will reduce the number of guilty pleas, and two, it will cause the overcrowded prisons to become even more overcrowded. These are fear concerns. I don't know how teach them the phone not working. To, oh, 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 true. Me did say with that text on call. You know, me never check it, sis. Me not tell a lie. Me never check them, you know. Me not even charge them. You understand? Um, so, my apologies for that. That's why you don't have to make promises in here for those do things. I mean, no, you know. I'm still at Why am I tell you? I said, they sent me saying, you know. Eh, uh, my question is, how do they claim that this is a part of nation building? Which part are you talking about? <laughs> S block. I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. A lot of African countries are making laws that are against. Yeah, man. Um, I know uh, there is a... I don't remember which country exactly. Some laws. So what about the straight couples who play a role? That, that, that not safe neither um, start with self. That, that crown it to brother. You understand what I mean? I say, and that's a fair point too. And we can't dispute that. You see me? So whichever way you take it, 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 it sir, buggery is illegal in the country. So whether it is man and man or man and woman in, in a league. You understand what I mean? So that is the situation. Let's build a private prison and earn some money. Them are going to fight you out. You understand what I mean? <laughs> Jaja, before the white man come do it. Jaja. I don't think they, they are in favor of private prisons around here. Because I think that was mentioned one time and it was a big thing. You understand what I mean? I'm almost sure there was a big discussion about that not so long ago. You see me? And, and people never find fear for it. So I don't know. Because they must say, who? Who friend I got built? But I don't even know. You understand? Mm -hmm. um, I teach him, Rosie wanted to call in. If Rosie want to call in, she can call in. You know? Rosie have, have, have the channel. Say so if she want to call, she can call in. Me accept her call. You understand? I just go so boom so and press two buttons. Nothing hard than that. You understand? No. Parliamentarians say longer sentences for murder will further overburden penal system. Legislators are concerned about the impact higher minimum sentences for murder will have on the country's two high security prisons. The same. Sorry, guys. The St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center. 
which is a Spanish town prison, and the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center, which is the General Penitentiary at GP, which are already overcrowded and will be expected to take in more convicts for longer periods. The government has proposed the amendment of several pieces of related legislation to provide harsher penalties for murder. Among the proposed changes is a mandatory minimum sentence of 50 years for capital murder. Members of the Joint Select Committee now reviewing the bills, the Criminal Justice Administration Amendment Act of 2023, the Offenses Against the Persons Amendment Act of 2023, and the Child Care and Protection Amendment Act of 2023, also bemoaned the deplorable conditions of these institutions and questioned the ability of prisons to provide meaningful rehabilitation. For inmates, at, at the committee's meeting on Wednesday, Jesus Christ, some moment, guys. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Behave yourself. I'm going to put you out. Yeah. Um, is that what it? No. <laughs> you see? That's why I wouldn't do this sit -up. You understand? And you can't stay in here with the AC because you have cool. You see? Behave yourself. <laughs> what do you mean, eh-eh? Uh eh? -uh? Huh? Stop digging out the nose, man. It's nasty. And you're not staying. Okay? I don't want to hug you up, man. For your nose. That don't look good for a camera, brother. <laughs> Please, let me get rid of that general letter. <laughs> I'm here. You need to go clean up your nose. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Yeah, peace. Me there, me, me there again. <laughs> uh, uh, he can't stay in here for one, cause he think of can't stay by himself. Plus, him still have I recover from the cold, and you know the AC and that never work out. You understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, stay the ball running around too. So we're going to continue the show with there, so. Yeah, so now, at the committee's meeting on Wednesday, opposition Senator Donna Scott Motley pointed to the inhumane conditions as well as the extreme level of overcrowding in prisons, arguing that with the mandatory minimum, you are swelling the prison population. Fair point. She added, the conditions cannot do anything but dehumanize a person, and those of us who practice in the criminal law will be able to tell you that the person who is first apprehended and the person who you see three weeks later are simply not the same person. The fear, the vulnerability when they are just apprehended is replaced by a kind of braggadocio, bad man attitude in three weeks, Scott Motley said. The opposition senator comments sided with the submission of the Office of the Public Defender, which argued that the increased sentencing minimums will have a long-term impact on the prison population. But what kind of impact will it have on the general population? Hmm, I suppose that's a question. 
the lack of capacity for a large intakes in our high security prisons, the St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center and the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center is an established fact. The conditions at these institutions are notorious and do not foster meaningful rehabilitation, the submission read. So we just have to build two more prisons. You understand what I mean? Um, mm. Opposition committee member Denise Daly said there seems to be a lack of understanding about the current overburdened prison system. Okay. I don't think we have one good prison in this country. When I say a good prison, I mean not talking about luxury. I mean about amenities to make sure that we can reform people. For them to live in a condition that is not too inhumane, she said. Now, Chair of the Committee and Justice Minister Delora Chuck admitted that his numerous visits to the Tower Street and St. Catherine facilities were stressful and very heartrending occasions, seeing first and the conditions in which the warders have to work or the rooms for interviewing, interviewing clients. I am not denying that, oh, because Chuck no liar to buy a profession. I am not denying that you have two fairly reasonable prisons, Tamarind Farm and Richmond Farm, but district prisons, St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center and GP, believe me, are a sad reflection on what we call prisons. So, Mr. Chuck, is there any conversation, discussion about building new penal facilities because obvious well one gp was made to house about what eight seven hundred eight hundred inmates i know that probably about double or triple you understand I'm not sure the initial capacity for spanish town or the same Catherine or correctional um facility but the population there now is probably double or triple you understand what i say so not only are they overcrowded but these prisons are old Zane, the newest prison we have, I suspect, is Horizon and Horizon Horizon Remand Center. You understand? So that is not a high security facility as 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 GP and Spanish Town is. So if we are changing the laws, it would suggest then that the prison spaces will need to be addressed. Fixing up Tower Street is probably a waste of time and, and, and resources. Zane? So probably the best thing is to continue with it as is until it can't continue no more. But aren't there going to be the construction of at least one new prison? Richmond Farm is for a white collar and the elites. Hmm? So... This is a discussion that the Ministry of National Security, the Finance Ministry, the Ministry of Justice, and the Prime Minister should be having. You understand? I need to do a, I need to do a project on Jamaica's prisons, you know. Like a real project. Like real, real project. I'm going to write it down somewhere. Um mm. I can't use it. It's no use to patch all clothes, all pants with new cloth. <laughs> it depends on your patching enough, you know. Because some patch need, you know. But I'm just saying, I'm just kidding. But we get what I say. But they can find the materials and put the prisons to work. And that's a, a, a very good suggestion that some people, because enough man sentenced to hard labor, you know. And then not really that. And not only that, you have many skills. Many skill sets are within our penal system. Many, many construction workers, many carpenters, many furniture makers, many teachers, many lawyers, many doctors. Think about the professions in Jamaica. You have people in our penal institutions that are able to, to treat with these things. So that, 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 that's the next thing. So, so allow them, allow prisoners to do the construction. Okay. Um, mm. Yes, teacher, you really, really do it. It's it, 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 all right. So I'm going to continue. He argued, however, that the state of Jamaica's prisons, unfortunately, is a different discussion beyond what the committee can take on and suggested that legislators compartmentalize the issue in their minds. I mean, I, I, I get that. I guess that discussion is not for the committee. 
but that discussion need to be had. So you need a committee to treat with that because the truth of the matter is that the, the penal system is under pressure from donkey years ago and it will be under even greater pressure with minimum mandatory sentences. You understand? That, that's just the nature of the beast, you know. <clears throat> I am not too sure that this committee can deal with the unfortunate conditions in our penal institutions. We can make, we can make any recommendation, but at this time we have to compartmentalize our mind and deal with the issues before us. I am not denying, and don't get me wrong, I really believe much more should be done to improve the conditions everywhere, including the prisons, he said. To this suggestion, Scott Motley asked if the government and the legislators are not supposed to be concerned about the possibility of rehabilitation. What is it that we are trying to do then? We are just trying to punish, she said. This really asked. Chuck responded by saying that the committee is not going to solve all the problems. Hmm. And that is why, even when I hear arguments about children, that we must look at their background, which, which era they come from, what are their family background. These are considerations which undoubtedly should be taken to account, but we can't solve them here. For the legislator, we have to look at whatever the sentence of the court or the sentence we want to impose is reflective. In my view, of the legislator's consideration about persons who commit murder, because at the end of the day, this is why this bill is here, and it has to be supportive of the fight that we have against the offense of murder, which is so prevalent across every corner of Jamaica, he said. It's a very long act. I'm going to finish reading. Um, Government Senator Shireen Golding Campbell said she shared the concerns of Scott Motley, as well as Chuck, in terms of the need to address the issues that the society is facing regarding crime. I don't think, though, that as legislators, we have the luxury of compartmentalizing anything. I think when we sit in the people's house, we have to be concerned with all those things that touch and affect people. Fair enough. But our purview under these amendment bills is to amend the provisions dealing with sentencing periods, she said. What we can do as a joint select committee is indicate in our report the issues that have come to the fore, Fair enough again, as a result of the engagement of the stakeholders and ask the parliament to have that discussion in the debate and send a message to the executive that these matters need to be addressed. I mean, everybody should know so we need a few more prisons, to be honest. I mean, some people, I, 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 I would prefer to build more schools and prisons, but the reality is that we need more prisons. You understand what I say? And thing. Um, I think rehabilitation is a super so especially based on the crime. Mm -hmm. Right, so that is within the... She argued that not all convicts will sit and die in prison. They are going to come back into society. So legislators should be concerned with what is happening in that process. So our report can include some indication to the parliament that the Joint Select Committee is concerned about the state of the penal system and would wish for the rehabilitative programs there to be robust programs designed to rehabilitate and not foster a culture where we end up with people coming out of the system being even more dangerous to society than they went in, she said. Now, Chuck conceded, remarking that Golden Campbell was totally correct and that the Joint Select Committee should take note of many of the issues outside of dealing with the sentencing matter. Interesting. Um, but fair enough, that this is a discussion that has to be had. The prison numbers will increase exponentially when these laws become, when these bills become laws, and um, the prison system is bursting at the seams already. And common sense would suggest that the only way to treat with that, seeing that crime is the level that it is at, and more prisoners will be will be added to the system is to build a few more prisons. You understand? Again, I would prefer to see more hospitals and schools and community centers being built with that money. But the nature of the beast is of such where we need a few more prisons. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Fourth Augusta was locked down. The, the ladies were transferred to another institution. GP is GP. St. Catherine is St. Catherine. 
but we, we, we yeah we have Tamarind Farm, we have Richmond, we have Horizon, we have some other places. But at the end of the day, the level of criminality and the successes that the police have had and will continue to have will will mean that there will be more prisoners in the short term, long term, mid term. And the only way to treat with that is is to to build a few more prisons. You understand? Whether publicly funded or privately funded, I don't know that. Well, let me not say that, but yeah, we we, we need. I mean, that that that's a common sense. You understand? But I guess there's a common sense is a common no more. BB Coke was in the news for the wrong reasons recently. They were in the news for the right reasons recently, too, you know, because I think they were ahead in their their round of 16 clash and were on the verge of qualifying for the quarterfinals. I don't even know how that, that, that second leg, um, the result of that, because me, me, me never um, see nothing and me never got checked. So, some positive done a BB quote. Big up to the BB quote ball as them. But they were in the news recently when a youngster there was beaten after he allegedly stepped on the shoes of a schoolmate. And, and we know the whole story there. They are in the news again. One month after a schoolboy was allegedly beaten by an older boy, causing widespread debate, an investigation has been launched into an alleged case of sexual assault of a 14-year-old schoolgirl by an older student at B.B. Coke High School on Tuesday. A senior school official confirmed that the police have been called in to probe the matter. Now, I am aware, however, the matter is being investigated, so I can't comment on it, but I was made aware of the alleged incident. The matter is being investigated. I cannot comment on it at the moment, the source said. Now, Jamaica Observer was told by a reliable source that the grade 9 girl was reportedly sexually assaulted in a bathroom on the school compound sometime on Tuesday, allegedly by a grade 11 boy. There were reportedly concerns as to how the matter is being treated by the police and health officials. Oh. Now, head of the St. Elizabeth Police Superintendent Coolridge Minter confirmed that the police are investigating the incident. I am aware the matter is still under investigation. I do not have all the facts to comment on the, at this time, he said. Now, the incident follows last month's brutal beating of a 14-year-old boy at the school, allegedly by a 15-year-old boy. The September 28th incident resulted in the younger student being hospitalized for a week after he was beaten unconscious, allegedly by the grade 11 student for stepping on a shoe, and, and so on and so forth. Um, this story that I just read is... A very, 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 very regular occurrence in our schools. What you don't do is hear about a lot of them because they don't reach the media per se. For whatever reason, sometimes, the, 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 the per, many times, arrests are made. And sometimes based on the age, a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of these stories exist in the Jamaica school population. And I am telling you, it is far worse than you think it is. So I'm sure people are watching and say, yo, that's it away. But I will tell you that this situation is far worse than you can begin to imagine. Yeah? Far, far worse. Some of them are de dealt with in, in ways where... It is, it is far worse than anything. That's all I can tell you. Um, many boys have been arrested and charged for situations like these. Many boys. Many, many boys. You understand what I mean? Um, many. You just don't hear about these things because they don't readily make the news from time to time. And you know, B.B. Coke is in the news, so probably somebody from the school have linked with the media house, and I saw these things come out sometime. But you would be surprised. You would be surprised at how regular these things happen in, 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 in our schools. And, and also, <laughs> there's another trend 
in the school system now where these kids are highly sexualized, you see? And many times you have bigger boys having sex with younger girls. Many times, uh, kids can't consent to sex, see? But many times, the end result of that is the girl crying rape when she now is being placed under pressure. And many boys in our schools are treating with that dilemma and are in front of the courts or in lockup because it was said that they raped the girl. Like many of these, uh, trust me, many of these cases, many of them. You understand? So it is important for us as fathers, as uncles, as brothers, as cousins, speak to the youngsters among us, in our family, in our communities. You understand? You have belly, you hungry, you Nadine, I am happy that you got home, Empress. You understand? Give thanks. Blessings. See? That we impress upon these boys that you have to be careful. Because even though the female cannot legally consent, majority of the time, it wasn't forced. But because of the situation that then develops, the cry is that she was raped many times. Many times. So, treating with the, the violence that is being perpetuated by the young men in, in the society is very critical, but also the amount of sexual crimes that these boys are finding themselves in is alarming. You just don't know about many of these cases because they don't become wide-scale public knowledge. Yeah? But believe me, it is very bad. Very, very bad. You understand? And it is, it is, it is, we are at a stage in, 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 in the country where the boys need as many male, positive male figures around them and in their lives as they can get because they are struggling. You understand what I'm saying? They are struggling. And they many times become involved in situations that they have to pay for for a long time. And sometimes I just need a little guidance, you know. And and I mean for the boy is is as a grade 10, grade 11 boy, a grade 9, 8 girl, some cases even grade 7. You understand? Him, him just a pre as a sex. Him not even thinking I'm head say, you know, she can't consent. But she say yes. And at the end of the day, the, 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 the shout is that him rape I like I have seen many of these cases i have heard about many of these cases yeah and i am sure if any educators especially at the high school level are in the stream they will tell you too that they know of many of these cases you understand so that's one of the next thing we we have to treat with with the youths in the country. You yeah, understand? Um, and because as I said, it is not something that you're hearing in the news every day. Zane? 
teach, do they teach these things in school? In some schools, yes. Um, in some schools, yes. I'm sure form teachers try as best as they can to to preach and beseech. Um, some of the youth them now nah, really listen still because for them, the girl easy and, you know what I mean, them friend get some, some can get some too, and all ah, sort of foolishness, yes, sir. You see me? You'd be surprised again to know how many sex videos are in circulation among these children. You understand? Some of the videos just don't, come, don't make it public, thankfully. And you know that's a crime to share these videos and keep them. So you have to be careful with that too. You see me, I say? Um, it's rough. It's rough out there. You see me? Teachers spend less time teaching these days and spend more time treating with, with social issues. You understand? That is the nature of the beast at the moment. You see? Some of these things are not readily spoken about and some of these things are normally hush-hush and the school try as best as possible to work it out a way where it not become public and them ask parents to move students and sometimes the parents them come together and decide say okay you know I you them so we we're gonna make it stay here so and hope them learn and all sort all sort of different solutions are found to these problems. <clears throat> you understand me I say? Yeah man, got every school in the cut well and let me re let me take my time to say this. Every school in the country is supposed to have at least one guidance counselor. Some schools have two, some have probably three based on the population. But most high schools have at least two guidance counselors. One normally for lower school, which is seven to nine, and one for upper school, which is ten to six form, if they have six form. I suppose. So, yes. Mm. So, you see... A lot of things are happening in this country, you know. It's just that some things you just don't know because you just don't know. But it's a, the, the school thing rough in a family. Being a teacher in Jamaica in this day and age at the high school level. Some schools are okay, don't get me wrong. Because every school have issues, you know. But some school, them have some different issues from some. You understand me? I say? The issues that are immaculate and a champion and a Andrews and a Queens and... Um, a George's and in some cases a KC and a JC will be different from a Holy Trinity, Zane, and a Hale Celestia and a Kingston Technical. You understand what I say? The, 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 the issues will be different. The culture of the school is different. The environment in which most of the children come from is different. You understand? So, some school cultures are really and truly rough brother R like some schools you have to be the fittest of the fittest as a teacher to survive in a some schools you understand what I mean it's just the, the reality of the thing some teacher can't teach what so one teacher maybe so, so good the teacher can teach the content because you know, the teacher know the content so that is fine but they cannot survive in some schools them just not have that makeup they for survive in a some school. So a, a teacher who can teach at Arden and thrive can not grow in a Spanish town and go teach and thrive. Or a Jose Marty. You understand what I say? So I saw it as a, it's just a nature that like teaching is rough in some schools. In some schools, teachers are not able to teach nearly as much as they want because they have to be treated with so many different issues. Hmm? You understand? If I'm not gambling, a truancy, all sorts of things. See? Yeah, it's crazy. No, make with this I mean, this I mean, <laughs> my fourth story for it. <laughs> Man posts girlfriends X-rated videos on Pornhub. What a wicked boy. Let me tell us the ladies. Some of them boys are not on a style. You understand? They don't forget. No. What do you mean? Gamble? Andrea, students have died in this country over gambling. You understand? Students have stopped 
their schoolmates and quite a few occasions fatally in some instances over like gambling. Gambling was so prevalent. And back in the one at the time, it was just males gambling. Now everybody a gamble. Some of the biggest gamblers now are females. You understand? So you know the gambling thing go when we did it in the streets. Any money did it. First thing, you have to do so. Back up half of the money. Because from me catch you, you know. No money no belong to nobody again. Listen, you know. a different, a school money that you know. So nobody with that. That the money they have to some youth when I'm not lunch tomorrow and a couple of days down the road, you know. So that's the first thing. Zane? More females and as a matter of fact, there was an article in the paper about this a few days ago. Me just never scripted. <laughs> Everybody a gamble in terms of gender now. Not every student, but ga gambling, many, many injuries have been sustained, has been sustained due to gambling in our schools. I, I mean, I a lot of these things, you don't readily hear them because they don't make mainstream news. People have been gambling in the school, spill over in a community. Gambling in a community, spill over in a school. It's great. I know of youth who get suspension for gambling. And the day when they come back after suspension, they are, held gambling, they are caught gambling again. Because some of them, for some of them, it has become a way of life. In their community, it is gambling. It is gambling. It's, it's crazy. You understand? And these gambling matches many times turn out in violence because some of them can't deal with losing and some man accuse some man of cheating. And it just like how gambling affects adults, I saw it affect the youths there. You understand? And, and oh, so, the, so the article that was in the paper was treating about some of, so, so girls are now gambling sexual favors. Let me can't find the article. Like, let me bring it up. Um, it was a very long article, you know. I don't remember the title. This is me read so much article on a weekly basis. More time, I remember all of them, you know. Uh, I'm going to search for this, you know. Underage Gambling Dilemma, October 15, 2023. I think this is it. Oh, it's a paid article. All right, let me see if I can sign in. Uh, No. Oh. <sighs> All right. So here's an article. So let me share it. Like over there, so. Screen share. Zin? So the, the, the title, you're not going to see it, but it says, Underage Gambling Dilemma, Risky High Stakes Games on the Increase in Schools and the Churches. Teenage girls using bets to engage in explicit sex acts. So this is just an evolution to the gambling, you know. You understand what I'm saying? So they often start off in primary school playing boom and wall. A game of chance and skill in which rubber bat, me used to play that. Are you? You understand? We used to play marble and them. So we never see that as gambling still, but... That was our thing. We don't have no card pack and no dice. You know how much dice I take away from you, sir? And card pack. And domino. <laughs> Jaja. But by the time they reach high school, some of these students have already mastered the art of gambling with cards, dice, dominoes, and other games. Skilled in the fundamentals of high stakes betting. In their world, however, high stakes do not always involve... Um, money. In many instances, these students gamble for anything they consider of value, from pieces of clothing or jewelry to truth or dare to commit explicit sexual acts that could have lifelong implications. 
The high stakes games are often at the root of some violent clashes between students, some of which have led to the deaths or serious injury of students in islands in the islands classroom educators. As I tell you, ch children have died as a result of gambling in this country before. That's not nothing new. You understand what I mean? I think the last one was over fifty dollar a couple of years back. But one three years back or four years back, they were it was a fifty dollar situation. So I could continue. The extent of the problem has forced administrators to call in outside intervention or, in at least one instance, expel the offending students. This gambling issue is widespread among males and females. Years ago, you would have seen it just among the boys. But now you are seeing it equally among the girls and sometimes more stress. Angelica Dalrymple, president of the Jamaica Association of Guidance Counselors in Education. These students are very creative. These games they play are never boring and they are so slick. When you do catch them in the act, you would be surprised by some of the things they are doing. Offered the senior guidance counselor, explaining that unlike male students, girls find value in far more things than money. Among the devastating consequences of underage gambling, Dalrymple noted, are risky behaviors that can have long-term consequences, truancy, interruption of studies, <clears throat> and serious conflicts, especially when one participant feels they were robbed, refused to pay up, or believe they may come under threat from the other. Dalrymple shied away from citing any particular school or incident <clears throat> But the principal of one high school in the western end of the island told reporters that the school board was forced to expel five students earlier this year after their gambling habits and spin-off conflicts threatened the safety and learning of the school population. We have had an increase in incidents of gambling or the placing of some wager on bets, especially since COVID. Sometimes I understand it can be truth or dare with sexual favors for a payment, the principal said asking not to be named in order to protect the school and the students. <laughs> Several times, this group of students had been caught committing sexual acts, which were later learned was because of a bet. There was also an increase in girls with same-sex tendencies, daring other females to kiss each other. Since that gang of five left, however, things have calmed down because others got the message. It broke my heart to make the decision, which is the expulsion, that I did, but it was necessary to sacrifice a few in order to try to save the rest, the principal said, pointing to a breakdown of standards in a society constantly exposed to illicit material and erotic behavior. The concerning behavior among youth is not just limited to the schools. Earlier this year, the leaders of a church had to seek the aid of psychologists for intervention and counseling for a group of teenage girls. One of the girls had taken a bet to perform oral sex on a boy, a recording of which ended up on social media. The church was also facing instances where teenage girls had dared, dared to enter into relationships with much older men. They had some private social media accounts that only they know, and unless you have other children around who can bring your attention to it as an adult, you would never know the past to explain. Now, most of this is happening... Most of this is happening to the young girls. Hold on, guys, man. Hey, see, can I mash up my lip like we need for um, put on a little lip balm like ah. Uh, it's how they know. Most of this is happening to the young women who are devaluing themselves and getting involved in all sorts of lesbian and promiscuous acts the past that added. Also asking for anonymity. For fear that it would paint a bad picture on his church. I saw. In years gone by, underage gambling was seen as a means to provide for economic needs. Educators argued. In today's society, however, that is not so much the case. With things like drugs, such as ganja cakes and candies popping up as wages. Jewelry is also a commonly used bargaining chip. But the culture and context of the school often dictate the items of value that Rimble explained. Oftentimes, it is only after high-end items are gambled away or money is stolen that parents become aware of these wages, sometimes visiting the schools to demand the return of items that were lost in gambling sprees by their children. 
counselors have noted that personal internal conflicts and a desire to please their peers were among the reasons shared in counting sessions by the students. Feeling a sense of accomplishment from winning a game or from winning a suc or successfully fulfilling a bet is a recurring theme, such as in the case of Tamoya, one of the church girls implicated in the unholy social media video. To tell you the truth, I don't even know why I get involved in these things, and I am always the one getting into trouble. One counselor said, a female 10th grade offered during one counseling. The article here, me can't, but me just show you what I go on. I can't read through all of that. You can read through it. In the name, underage gambling dilemma. You understand? I can't do everything for you in your school. You don't have to go discover some things too. You don't have to read. You understand? So, yeah, these are the. the look here. Um, <laughs> put on the red chair. So, it, boy, it's set away. These government officials need to hold accountable for their promises. Okay. Side note, the main shooter was found dead. Why am I kill himself, bachelor? Alright, somebody kill him. Yeah, I'm here. Boy, I'm here. Yo. Cha cha. Look at I mean I mean visit here. A few months. You understand? No. So that is as me I said, these 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 are some serious look here. Crazy, crazy, crazy things happen. You understand me? <laughs> no, Kerry, no worry, you know. Pig the dogs in mother. Mommy, why your mouth so long? A mom, a pig mother say, ah, my child, don't worry. I come here, I come. Don't worry, Kerry. Don't, don't ever hear this when they are dig hole if you dig too. Mm, all right. Man post girlfriends X-rated videos on Pornhub. Um, that me I tell the ladies. You no, know, no, no, send some boy in a video, sir. You understand what I say? Make it, you have good men out there who can get a one video, you know, but it's good for some of you, bad. Because some of my man, them are waste money, sir. That me I tell you. Senior parish judge Laurie and Cole Montague has vowed to set the correct judicial precedent for cyber crimes after a corporate era man pleaded guilty to posting sexual videotapes and pictures of his girlfriends on pornography website Pornhub. The identity of the defendant will not be published to protect the identity of the complainants. He pleaded guilty to two counts of use of computer for malicious communication. It was shared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Thursday that the defendant was in a relationship with two women, one of whom was his fiancée. He recorded videos in which he engaged in sexual intercourse with the women and had nude photographs of them. The court heard that the defendant posted the illicit videos and the photographs on the website. Their faces, was, their faces were not showing. It's a private site, the defendant told the senior jurist, when asked the reason for publishing the photographs and videos. I think I know where your Christmas will be spent. What a mean spirit thing to do, the judge scolded him, followed by murmurs of disgust by members of the public in the courtroom. The prosecutor indicated to Cole Montague that posting lewd content was a hobby of the defendant as he previously recorded sex with other women and had posted it on Pornhub. These women, the court heard, have not laid charges against him. I ain't no say, between me and you, you have women out there who would willingly do this. As so far about my stream, they may say I'm here for my stream. For me, I watch. Run a one part. You understand what I'm saying? But he knows full of cool. Cha cha. Eh. You have women out there who would freely participate in, 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 in recording of, of sex. So find a woman in a G. But boy, I mean, I can't understand the man. Them. <laughs> boy, I have sent pics out when I was younger to my ex them in the past. I'm glad it not come back to her. <laughs> At least I don't do have anything but there. Uh, is I come to collect. Ah, Lady Chantel, that's how I think, you know. You understand? When we were young, we do young things. Mm. <laughs> we say, Richie, I say, Chantel, go on. She said, when she was younger, sir, me, I want to leave Chantel alone. You understand? But me, I say, you have women who would willingly do these things. Very willingly. Because you have some women who, them free spirited, put it away there. You understand what I say? And them won't even have no problem with him posting the thing. So find them women, them did it, you know? Them did it, brother. 
Why, I mean, even, I don't understand how the man them prowl more time. Because, uh, boy, I mean, no. I better have a good memory, because I mean, I just would. <laughs> All right, so, we could continue. A long time, I do it. See? So, the judge tell him, say, she know him at do Christmas. So, those women, the court heard, have not laid charges against him. I wonder how many of them. When the co- so he, he two women have laid charges against him, so other women are involved, but I don't know. For real, those women are enough. Very enough, Jamaica Pwn service. They're plentiful. You understand? Some here. Eh. When the complainants asked him to remove the videos, he said he was not going to remove them until he gets paid by Porn Hub. Then you see me darn child as my granny would have said. The man said, I'm not taking a video of them until porn up play him. Pay him. Eh. <laughs> Individuals are paid by Pornhub when they register to the platform's amateur model program and begin to upload sexual content. According to Pornhub, persons earn a substantial cut of the advertisement revenue generated by your videos. The rate you get paid depends on the performance of your video. Eh, how you know, say? Views plus ratings. Eh, how that a go on around ya? The defendant, who is a father of two daughters. <laughs> the irony is real. Defendant, who is a father of two daughters, said he has since removed the videos and sought to apologize for his actions. You are not going home today. He is a menace. Young women are not safe with your little fingers. <laughs> I have to make sure that when I am passing sentence that the deterrent effect is felt. This offense is becoming too commonplace, Cole Montague. No, a true, a true mummy, a true attack. The defendant, when asked by the judge, indicated that he had sisters and would not be happy if a man had posted sexual content of them. Mm. Well, I have to make sure that the justice you would want for your sisters and daughters is served on you too. Big up the judge. Same knife, stick sheep, stick goat. You are remanded in custody. <laughs> the defendant is to compensate each defendant in the sum. It will not be the defendant. The, the accused. I will write the article here. That person did not watch porn over there, right? The person said the defendant is to compensate each defendant. I will correct it for them. The accused is to compensate each defendant in the sum of 200000 a little bit of money that judge. Me no love the apartheid. You understand? A little bit of money that. See? And it's to begin payment when he returns to court on December 8th. Oh, so as a long in remand for Bombard. He was also made the subject of a fingerprint order. You can't finger them fearing. You understand? Eh, eh. Look here, a man them. Uno, uno, yo, I wish camera on me the pan. That one. Eh. Eh, brother, uno <laughs> family. You have, you have tens of thousands of women in Jamaica and elsewhere who would willingly participate in your porn production. You understand? Some would do it for a cost and some would do it for free. Then no mind. Find them no brother, man. Don't befriend the women them and have relationships with them. And under the guys say you love them or you care for them. And you take the video them and post up this brother. Man, you go find some woman who's interested in that. Them not have to find in some here. They not have to find in a bro. Them debo. I mean, you know, me not, sometimes man they do some things. Me I want, me, 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 me. <laughs> because all this no make no sense. Them a woman yeah. where we do this a dime a dozen. You understand what I mean? Two for one deal you get out sometime. Three for one and this. So me not know this. A man them, a man them a move like they no sensible, yes yeah, sir. Maybe he met that in one month and pouring up. So, so much money I make over Jamaica Pwn service, Jamaica Pwn service. Eh? Can't even forget in another business there, you know, the right way, you know. Not, 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 not this brother here, way. You understand? Because porn is always going to sell, you know. I'm not thinking about the right business idea, you know. I have a camera there. Right <laughs> Ah, it's a... No, 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 no. Jamaica porn server that about how them pay per view. You understand? So, why, I mean, what man they need for the better, yeah, sir? 
Because new side us, boy, my hat, man. It's a legal business if, if, if we are going to do it the right way. You yeah, understand? All right, we just drop me chair. <laughs> eh, hey, so, why? We don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Yeah, that's sad. Munchie. Of course, you're going to believe Munchie. I know you're going to believe you. You understand? Eh, hey, that's how I'm going to say, boy, I'm going to drop my chair low. Call me and say, then, how oh, I'm so high now? Why? I don't know. I can't keep up. Hey, ladies, if you have video, keep your face off camera. At least you aren't identifiable. Nah, man, I know that tattoo the rosy, man. I know that dimple they run at her back, me, some man. I know her skin color. You can't, you can't tell me nothing. And you have go go lights already in the teacher. <laughs> Yo, here we are, say. But you hey, man, them need to go on better, brother. You man, them move like they don't sense. You understand me, I say, because say, uh, more time man then do some things and then go a quote go ball like a like a baby. Me I say, brother, you ain't think about this before. Look how much woman you couldn't brother, you couldn't run a, a full business and do this. You understand me, I say? I am not judging off you know no tanglings. Oh uh, do. Alright, peeps, here we go on. I'm telling you four things I come to talk about tonight, I'm talking about six. You understand? You don't have to give thanks to small mercies. See? Me, me, two Jamaican farm workers in Canada involved in fight. One arrested. Oh, what oh, the man? It's hey, just a tab of man, them brother. Yo, why? Me that, yo, me. <laughs> yo, me don't know you are, man. Let me say, man shot by police in Sentan. Three teens arrest as suspected killing a homeless man in Arata, Germany. See? Um... Let me see what them two. Let me see two man here go on. Just ask me and tell him, man, them, teach him, bro. I have no identifiable marks. Be just bro. <laughs> All right, Rosie. Let's see our word. Let's see our word. Uh, <coughs> yo, see, be just talk about man, them, you know, and watch what, what here with them two man here do, you know. So a Jamaican farm worker has been jailed. Well or not, I was briefly hospitalized. After the two allegedly got into a fight, just as they were due to return home from Canada today. The incident happened at a farm in Ontario, according to an official with knowledge of the case. It's not immediately clear what triggered the argument that reportedly occurred just before the two men were about to board a bus for the airport. Their crop finished recently, but them still a farm full. The injured worker was treated for several stab wounds. And later released. What, so that could have been fatal. The incident comes as Labour and Social Security Minister Pernell Charles Jr. tours farms across Canada for a first hand look at the program amid concerns of alleged ill treatment by employers and behavior problems by workers. It man them left you have to go walk and or if you kill them one another before they come back home to their family. Then they, they, I, Yo, we don't know where you are, I don't know. A man was shot by police in, in, in Stephanie District, St. Anne, this morning. He was taken to the Alexandria Community Hospital for treatment. The police say he was shot after he reportedly attacked a policeman while armed with a knife and machete. They say a team went to the area to respond to a report of a domestic dispute which turned violent. The man was seen by the police and was accosted. He reportedly confronted a policeman who shot him. Yeah? The incident is being investigated by Indico. Ah, boy. Then I say, Rosie, then I say, you know, they never say. You understand? I miss what I go on to repeat but before I left because I feel like JFF said they finally paid the girl. You see, JFF, they my next. Let me see. JFF. Brother, Rickets and his friend. Like, boy, I don't understand. We, we, <laughs> sure. I'm not even a cousin, you know. God knows I'm not even a cousin. Because, who cousin not yourself? You understand? Right now, we need a new JFF executive. Right, clean the board. I search, I don't mean, know what I'm mean, talking about. You see me? So that means I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. 
Love March Movement, court rejection of challenge to Bogre Law, Warren celebration. Oh, jeez, I'm going to celebrate it. Okay, do your thing. All right, and we move. Search the whole IP for them, you know. You see what I say? Eh? Uh, nah, fine, nothing new. That's good. My foolish is not going. Yeah. Yeah, peeps, big up on yourself, yes. Yeah, Imagine them over Canada. Yeah, my chair feels too high now. Look, I'm here to set up on the right settings, you know. All right, me give him that one there. Me, me I give him that one there. It was a good set. You understand? Um, peeps, big up on yourself. At time, JFF give Paul Paul the work. <laughs> All right, sir. Craig Butler, fudge. Why? Craig, Craig, why? Craig and Craig. Craig. You see, Craig, I you know. Craig is a different animal, you know? You understand? What I think Craig should would, would do well with is be a part of the coaching staff. But running the JFF, why am I not sure about that part I did? I mean, his, his, his academy has been extremely successful, don't get me wrong, you know? But you see Craig, you know? Why am I not no Rasta? You understand? I don't know, brother. You see me? I don't know, but... Something, something need for happen by JFF there. You understand? Something need for, some changes need is needed. Some changes are needed. Let me put it that way. There. You see me? Because them, them, I don't know. Plus, man, if I wake up early in the morning for some side play, and then I play about 6 30. I don't know. I wish I do the Chelsea match for 6 Let me, let me check. Because um, I'm almost sure at 6 30, I see it. Chelsea Football Club. 6 30 a.m. tomorrow. I will put them match in this, but hopefully I wake up early and get an early win and, and go back to the other one. You understand what I mean? Peace. I stream Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. So if I don't stream long tonight, I don't can't quarrel. I don't can't quarrel, but I don't depend on no one. You understand what I mean? I don't depend on that. You, know? you see, my chair feels too high, man. But I don't want to sink right down now. All right. That feel, yeah, that feel better. That feel better. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Now we are tired. All right, don't say a word, Richie. That's how we go, you know. We live and die by the choices we make. You understand? No, no. Me not, we, we can't finish. We not see the top four finish with this season. You understand? We then take somewhere in a six, seven region for that year. Yeah? A rebuilding year. And then come again next year and see what I go on. But me not, the, 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 the teams in the top half of the table are just too strong. Tottenham looking good. Arsenal are going to win the league. I feel this is their, their year. But there is still City there. You can never count out City. Um, Liverpool is, is there as well. So that are Arsenal, City, Liverpool, Spurs. So that are four. Um, Man U, despite them struggles, still in better shape than us at the moment. So, so, so put fire there. So then you have between Brighton and Aston Villa in, and Newcastle in a local segment. All those teams are stronger than us at the moment. Brother, him man them sell the whole squad, you know. Everybody in our side knew, you know. You understand what I mean? So, it will take a while for Poch to get the thing together, for the players them develop a local chemistry, and the other teams are just too strong at the moment. You understand? Out of all of them teams that we call, probably right now, United is the weakest of the, of, of the bunch. So, Arsenal, Spurs, City, Liverpool, Newcastle, Brighton, Aston Villa, United. So the eight that we call, probably a United they are eight because everybody else we call look better than them so far. You understand what I'm saying? City can win the league again, but if Arsenal win the league this year, they are croft. You understand what I'm saying? So make me question. But City is still probably favourites to win. But I think this is Arsenal's best chance because City is going to be better again next season. So, because after the honeymoon of the Champions League win, you know, them them are gonna come back again next season. So I don't know. So but just go and watch my side I try to get local points and give thanks. If them finish in the top six, in the top seven, me give thanks to that. But no top four finish not possible for Chelsea this season. I would be very, very unfair if me, me put them in front of some of my team them. You understand? So let's go and build back the thing and a lot of injuries. A lot of players coming back from injuries. Nkunku is a very important piece of the puzzle. Reese James is critical to the team. 
um, chili out as well. Um, body shield, them are come. A whole heap of thing. You understand? Still think we need a centre forward. We should have taken the swap deal for Lukaku and Vlahovic. I don't know why them never do that. Because I would have taken that hands down. Well, Vlahovic can do worse than what Lukaku do for it. You understand? And if so, him still young. Him still going to have value. Sell him. But I guess I don't mean one club. But long story short, my gone. Yeah, he said a lot of talent to come back into. Yeah, man, that me I tell us an injury. Um, maybe five or eh, me still has about seven or eight. Maybe we take that. But if five or six, we then take that too. You understand? But we see what I go on. The ladies are not really interested in football. So we, we, we are going to need to have that conversation about ourselves for next time, you know. You understand? We're not about to drink no rum to that. <laughs> All right, bro. That's your word. Give thanks. I appreciate the rum money. You see me? Blessings every time. So. Um, if Man City win this season, I am taking a month vacation. My, my, my bit. My, oh, my bit high bad. Oh, okay. Me not, me not, me not, me not, bet, me not really bet still, you know. But we saw a go. But you know, we love a ball game, man. And these things, um, it, 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 last season was rough. Me not, me depressed. A lot of football depression beat me bad last season, brother. From the moment they fired Tommy T, me be depressed and then pata and then fr <laughs> forget about it as fun about it, I say. Peeps, good night. Enjoy your weekend. We don't know if things go on tomorrow. Me feel for stream. Me turn on my camera them again. And we talk. And Sunday again. And we I mean, me there. You understand what I say? Me have me have a, a supposedly huge interview Monday, so I need to do. Quite a bit of research with that too. So, one of my, I don't know, you see what go on, but I go on a three day in a row. You understand? You know, you can, you, yeah, Mr. said Arsenal suffered a major injury blow again. Well, them by Havertz for that reason. So, I could see how that go. I mean, getting so much money from Mount and Havertz is, is business where you can't complain. But even though Mount, I think he will come good eventually at United because he's, he, he's a, a good player. But what next story for you next time? Peace. Big up on yourself. Um, we appreciate the support. All of the people. I enjoy the streams as I normally do. But tonight the comments were very, very interesting, fun and and and, and serious when it needed to be. You understand? So um them can't win without without Gabriel man. It, it just it just because them have goal all over the pitch. You understand what I mean? I say? All over the them have goal on both flanks. Zane Martinelli is a constant goal threat. Saka is a constant goal threat. Trussard is a constant goal threat when he plays. You understand? Rice will score a few goals as well. Odegaard will score a few goals. Um, so they have people there who, who, who can put the ball in the back of the net. You understand? Kai will score a few goals from that average when the, 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 the stars align. So they have goals in the team, man. You understand what I mean? So I don't think... Gabriel's miss is as is, is as monumental as as people are thinking. Goals all over the team, lesson man. I just all oh, forget them. Yeah, understand. I just saw a thing go. You see me? But uh, one next story for you next time. Peace. Big up on yourself. Um, we we'll talk soon again. Out of love. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Have fun. Get something nice to drink. Spend some time by yourself. You know the works. Yeah, understand what I mean? I say. If Kyle alone no go on a score, me hope so. Um. But you know I think of football or football, I think Trussard should should play over him every time. But that is just my view and on my side still. But you know I go, I go you know I think of, but yeah, we see. But Arsenal is playing some the only game Arsenal play since season where them not look good at the game against Chelsea. We were totally dominant. A two thing Arsenal did and I scored two goals. We were we played them off the park and we messed it up. I don't know me I frustrate myself again, friend. I can't say, right now, my, I'm not talking about no more football till Sunday night. So, what I said with a man in the answer, that I said, I go watch the press conference a little bit, because I watch it today and then I go on my business. Peeps, big up on yourself. The merch store, Zane, you don't need to support it. You understand? Um, the, my designer has been quarreling with me. Why me not advertise the merch store? You understand? Why me not? So I have been I started advertising now. I will be advertising in um videos going forward. You see me? So that is a collaboration between Richie and myself. And I'm Mr. Richie is, has been very good to the movement and the channel. A good youth. I'm a, I'm a brother. You understand what I mean? I said, I'm one of the man for early out. I said I couldn't read to you, know, but 
him know we can't read. You understand? We don't pressure him no more. You see me? Him. Peace. Big up on yourself. Well, as a United fan, I don't have much. <laughs> oh, na, na, na. <laughs> That's all I have to say about United. I want to fight the shipping fees for the merch. But I rose it. I want to tell you, see, you see, you see with the merch store thing, I reduce the prices and I don't make more than $3 pan, nothing at that. The most we make off of anything at $3. Because I read the coming know some people them work hard and have all sorts of things to do. And the people them go patronize the thing have a lot of responsibilities. So me, me break right down there. So, so most of me make off of any one thing is probably three dollars and probably about two items that. And people not too too buy them there. I wonder me I make one dollar for them buy. But we give thanks. You understand me? I say we give thanks, see me. So me not really control a part of thing there. Teespring do them thing. So the most I could have done, Rosie, was reduce the prices as much as I could. And if you make it make sense, and um, you know what I think, uh, one of them things, but you see it. Pips, big up on yourself, yeah, sir. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, go, oh no, go. As a matter of fact, when we play, may I have some more, yeah, sir? This video was brought to you by the limited edition Step With Your Merch collection. Get yours while stocks last. Links are in the description below. I'm not going fully yet, I'm just going to play advertisement. I mean, I play it again and then me, 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 me left. But peace, big up on yourself. Kerry, big up. Teach, can you get a. Um, I will have to look into that. The thing with, with Teespring is that it just kind of efficient for me. I just put the design them in the store and then take care of everything else and take the money and give me my dollar. You understand? But I will have to look into that um, because we'll see you go. If people start supporting the thing when I left, I'm probably look into. You know what I mean? Probably. We see. We see. So I'll, I'll check that, um, my friend. But that's a good recommendation. I haven't really thought about it much, but we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah. Big up on yourself. Yeah, this is nature. Ellis representing for extra class. Seeing we teach them. Little piece of my story. Piece of extra Father Marriott, big up yourself in a roasty. You know what thing you know, we appreciate the support. You understand? S or S S S or Ink. May I stop trying to pronounce? I'm just gonna start calling it Ink. You understand what I say? Rosie did that. Rosie. Rosie did that call me. Yeah, the phone is connected to the sis. What's going on? Oh, bomba, you didn't kill me. Yo. <laughs> she not hear a silly though, cause we never connected to, you never connected to this, to, to the, to the stream. Eh, hey. but you can't, I'm make you talk on the microphone so she can't hear you. You can't talk, man. Big up your nice, clean self. Everybody say happy birthday to Carrie J. Tomorrow is her birthday. Happy birthday, may I, may I have a caller still, but I wanted to say that. Oh, yeah. I want, I want thing. May I tell you, say, you know, um, Rosie, it's a good thing to your car <laughs> because, say, <laughs> I never remember. I mean, no, not today, her daughter's birthday. No, yesterday, yesterday was her daughter's birthday. Yes, uh, and tomorrow is her birthday. Oh. And she me a call her tomorrow, man. You see me anymore, man. You see me anymore, man. You see me anymore, man. You see me call her tomorrow, message me and tell me if you call her, eh? Cause, eh? All right. I don't know. I don't All right. All right, sis. Big up yourself, you Big up yourself, my brother. And guys, don't don't watch the shipping. Me a complain, but me off it. Cause I have to support TJ. Me no matter where myself, if I sell if I'm a yam, uh, me have to buy something. I'm a bread of this. I'm a over sell some yam when I let that be. Buy your cups, but anything, just buy. Something I just, I just, I just close like. over there. You know, I'm not really have no cup and something over there right you now. Still, no, more cup. no me the kind of. Yeah, me, as me say, Richie did say, me for just sell some shot. Yeah, and that's, that's that look okay. As a matter of fact, Richie did only want me to sell one black shot and one white shot. 
I'm telling that can't walk. <laughs> no, we want other things. Yeah, because we he wanted thing. to we make it think. limited, limited and stuff and thing. But uh, we we'll see. We yeah, gonna put back some more things over. Me and Biki. Me and him, me and him did have one, one back and f- one to and fro discussion about that too. But you know, I me, me, me see the vision when we have. But I'm going to put some more yes. things back over there. I'm going to fix it up, man. Yes. Because, like, when I start advertising it, you know, you understand? I'm yeah, going to fix it up. But All I'm right. Sit, you understand me? But big up myself for this. I'll do a winner chat often. You know what I think, man? Everybody will try to make life, you know. But we're there, man. Nothing not change. All right, cool. Yeah, man. Remember to message me, you know? Yes. Yeah, All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, peep. Kerry. I want how you had for your birthday, Kerry. Sexy Kerry had a beat, I mean, <laughs> Anyways, peace. Big up for the selfie. Yeah. You know, we appreciate the support. You understand? And um, for all the people, that went, oh, but Kerry, you're a, Scor- you a Scorpio. Let me not even remember so you had that. Big up yourself. You had that? Yeah, man. Kite went, yeah, man. Let me hear the same sign, man. How you had say? Eh, they are good youth. They are good youth. They are good youth. They are good youth. Peace. Big up on us. If you are having birthdays over the weekend, big up yourself. Enjoy on a nice, clean birthday. Have some fun. And don't overdo nothing, you know. You understand? Moderation over moderation. You see me? I said, don't, 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 don't get too caught up. <laughs> Peace. Good night. Big up on yourself. We should not play before me left tonight. We should. Ah, uh, all right. Pearl, them say I teach them. I gonna eat them diamond and, and pearl. In. You know the form of knowledge. Yeah, it's something I say. Teach them. Oh Lord, teach them just to spread the wisdom and you know the spoken words. Yeah. From day to day, teach them play. Spreading knowledge night and day. I'm here to say peace. Big up on yourself, and you know. I appreciate Some the support. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Teach them a menace to society. But they don't know what it's like. We're spreading wisdom all day. Give them the knowledge all night. Teach them, you know, the real ghetto sound. We know the real ghetto pressure. Teach them, are you wear the crown? We like the world dance all proper, yeah. On and on, teach them play. Jamaica phone service, Kerry, be impressive. Six, when pick up yourself, you know, hope you're good enough. You yeah, understand what I mean? Say, Kerry J, pre birthday, Miss Aretha Franklin Francis. <laughs> pick up yourself, you know. Yeah, that's what I mean? Say, Ricky, pick up yourself in the family. We say, Sagittarius, nothing wrong with us up there, you know. King B. Big up yourself in you know, a farm, you know what I mean? You know, I am not deep into into the 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 signs and things still. Them say it, it have me. Why well, I mean I know say just go and leave your ass. Then he's big up yourself. Cause me and so I just sitting about my sign and me this one day, me that one next day, me and next sitting one next time. So me don't know me at all right now. As so other than being Scorpio, I guess me is just me and so. Big up to you Chelsea fans, you know, you know what I think, you know, Royal Blue, true and true, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, it ain't true if it ain't blue. Junglist, big up yourself in a bro, Ski. Marriott, big up yourself in a bro. All is well, sir. Yeah, sir, three names, you know. Father can prosper. Big up yourself, you know. See, man, big up some people before me left. Come here, appreciate you, you know. Experience. Big up yourself, you know. You know what you're name that. Um, dive Nom. Dive Nom. D- 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 well, may I pronounce it that way? There? It's safer that way. There. Find one next tune in the meantime. Teach them. Oh, you yeah. understand? Yeah. Miss Andrea D, big up teach yourself, them, you know. Teach them. Reach them. Yeah, man. Roxanne, RSW, big up yourself, General, you know. Yeah. Ah. Jeremy 540. Bless it. Yeah, no Chantel. Teach them and make them know what's going on. Hey, teach them a play. Yeah. I now teach them compete. Lock down the city. Cause it's not pretty. 
I don't know, I can't play nothing. Come on, play it. I can't play a real song. YouTube, we mash up the channel, you understand? Come on, play it. 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 I'm out. This video was brought to you by the limited edition Step With Jam merch collection. Get yours while stocks last. Links are in the description below.